Welcome, my lovely dears, to another fantabulous session of the Western Chivalrics, wherein our party have entered a completely normal building and had a completely normal adventures. Yeah. Just, uh, everyday normal things, like a telescope asking if it can eat your eye. You know, normal stuff. Mm -hmm. A completely normal building which... Tiana, a completely normal sorcerer, is having a blast in. Oh, apparently. Look, the whole dungeon can be any shape, and that includes friend-shaped. No. Yay. Yeah, but the current friendship is trying to dissolve us. Meh. Yeah. Yeah. Can't hope that you're in his tumby. It's just how it is. And so, my lovely day, we pick up once more in the midst of this totally normal dungeon. Your party is looking a little bit battered and bruised from being battered and bruised. And concussed by bricks over and over and over again. Our brick, don't ever disrespect it. Yeah, apparent fucking Lee. They are the ones who knock. Curious you or technically out. thrown. <laughs> she feels like Maybe. it too. Yeah, can we uh can we take one of them short rests? Sure, are you going to do so on the stairs or on the landing? Uh well the the stairs haven't tried to eat us yet, so I, I vote the stairs. <laughs> Just take a sit down Bear. for a bit. Very yeah. Cool. We do need we need to be somewhat mindful. We only have so many of these we can do, but one short rest shouldn't hurt. Well, I can do one more because then I'll be out of hit dice. Yeah, I'll make that's a good point. The stairs. Uh, D ten, D ten. Oh boy! All right, so plus twelve. Speed of forty nine. Well, before we wait, uh, here, here, here. Before we start rolling shit. Okay, what? listen. Before we start rolling shit, let me just do something. I will put down a totem. My fucking character sheet would fucking open sometime in this universe. Come on, roll 20. Fucking finally. There we go. I will put down the Vagicom totem. Okay, but we... Okay. But it's Bob, like a short rest. Okay, but he, here's the thing: Just... you, do, you you don't need to because then you'll be using spell slots when we have hit dice. Yes, but you only have one more. Somebody only has one more hit dice to spend. So listen, and I still have a pretty fairly good amount of spell slots. Calm down. Okay. So, magical protocols down. And uh, the most hurt one is what, Siri? Or Fanra? I think uh, technically the most hurt one is Ariel. I mean, I, just, I have hit dice to use, and that's. I've been using them. I still got three more hit die. I've got a couple left. I just uh, stopped because. Like Kadra said, to stop for a minute. Yes. So you don't have to spend all your hit dice in case you need another one. Another set uh, up. I mean, I'll still take those temporary hit points. No, no, have... These are not temporary. Listen, that's what I'm trying to say. Magicorn heals everyone for, for my level. Okay, well, cast a healing spell then. Yes. So I'm just asking who was hurt first, uh, most. Uh... So, uh, Probably me, yeah. Was that at barrel point, always there? Yeah. yeah. At no, one they point were. During, at one point during your they short were. rest, Jesse will squint and then tug on the closest person's arm before pointing down at the landing. Were there always barrels of ale down there? They were not. Or am I crazy? No. Did they know we were resting and try and trick us? 
Yes, yes, they did. <laughs> it's the, wow. they've, they've provided beer for her arrest. Right, that's a very dark place. Huh. Uh, I have a feeling that they're not going to be a very helpful in the resting. Uh, I mean, maybe they're not going to eat us. But they could. I doubt that they're not. Okay, so... Hey, Tayana, can you negotiate okay. with the barrels for us? I could, yeah. yeah. Uh, 14 for everyone else. Hey, friends. Else. Okay. Uh, 14 will be more than enough to get me to full. Mm, 53. Oh. oh. Not quite full, but close enough to be full. You will be in a bit there. And then, uh, the one Wait, that... Seven. Uh, you are multi-classed, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you are multi-classed if it's seven. No, what? eight. Well, fuck, I forgot for eight. Sorry. That's just me being an idiot. Yeah, I had to double check Bob Sheet. Like, did she fucking multi class without even mentioning it to the DM? <laughs> like, I can understand keeping a multi class from your companions, but it's like, they're the one person who should know mechanically how you function. But no, you just, yes. you just misremembered. That'd be <laughs> I was kind like, of oh, what up. the fuck? <laughs> That'd be yes, kind of messed up. Seven. Yes, because it ruined a nice, perfect round number, like 7 plus 7 is 14, so it's 15, so, yes, I'm an idiot. And, uh, Fonra, or, well, I know the Fonra I'm got, got full. bricked. Yeah, so, I know it's I one of those, like... Yeah, so you don't have to spend all that good hit dice for can save up for next time. So surely you want to do the healing spell version of recovery next time when you don't have the hit die for it. As opposed to right now while you still do. Like conserving them when you still might need those spell slots for other things seems like the backwards way of doing it. But you just let Hedder do what she wants, man. Yeah. That's all right, Hedder, Hedder wants another to cure wounds. Yeah, I will do just that. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to approach these barrels. Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. So, 9 plus 8. So, you get 17. Cool. Back to full. And then everybody else gets 8 I... from that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Right, cool. That puts me at full. So, I'll take the short rest there and... Uh, whoops. Uh, yeah, but I have to do that at the end of the short rest, because that's when I get the token back. Fair enough. All right, well, we're as good a shape as we'll be. Tayana, go negotiate, would you? Yep. Hey, friends! You descend the stairs, one of the barrels, like, peeks open an eye. What you guys up to? Totally normal ale barrel. <laughs> yeah. It, come on. I'm delicious. You know you wanna. Ah, uh, right now I'm, I'm kind of busy. I'm sorry. How about your fruit? Your food? Does your food want ale? They'll be more delicious when they're drunk. Not right now. <laughs> well, it... Okay. Well, you know, good luck and stuff, I guess. Thanks. They're fine. You're not supposed to stick your tongue in a keg anyway, you Philistine. <laughs> Is there actual ale in the barrels? 
they look like completely normal ale barrels to literally all of you. I mean, they are indistinguishable I mean, yeah, but then you from open what up they the, are. Yeah, but then you open up the lid and it's just nothing but tentacles and teeth inside. Could be. Well, here they visually, but then on the ethereal plane, they're like, ah. No, no on the no, ethereal plane, like... they look like what they are disguised as. They are ident. Again, that's why you've been dealing with this mirror vi vision. Everything is identical. If everything you were in looked like a mimic, you would only see walls of tentacle and walls of like just flesh. But you don't. You're seeing a dungeon. But the difference between this uh, solid things like we and Tayana. Again, Tiana has a double vision on her, but she also looks completely the same on both of these versions, that she's just slightly transposed. Yeah. It's a little weird, but not, yeah. not anything you can pick yeah. apart. Yeah, I'm just kind of like dolphin or orca in the three division. What? Dolphin Orca? What? No, it's just uh, a trick of the eye thing. Like, you could find some artist that did called Magic, C Magic Eye Books. Oh, uh, okay. Don't worry. Okay, did yeah, anyone Hallie. did anyone actually get knocked out last fight? Do they need a, a, a slurp on the Halley? I don't think anyone actually got knocked out. I think people got, got into the real I got real close at least. Yeah, you got yeah, real You got real close, close to knocking Kier right. Kierwin, but she just got into the field position, not knocked out. Yeah, I, I learned... got knocked out the fight before last. Did you get knocked down but then get up again? No, I just yeah. fell down and then got back up again. You can get knocked down, just don't get knocked up. Let's go. I think yes. we're done resting. Yes, quite. Let's uh, be on the way. They're yeah. not going to stop us. Okay. Stop. Okay. As you begin your descent, I have fantastic news for you. Can you believe it? These ale barrels were mimics the whole time. No, really. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Never would have guessed. <laughs> I know. I know. However, much like previously, whenever I've put a very obvious trap in you, none of you have looked for, like, the one that's the subtle trap. The stair is mimics. Of course. The yeah, every the fucking case. time. I can't believe this worked on you again. <laughs> Just... Well, no, I, I, I figured mimics, I just thought they were going to let us through. Yeah, I figured they were probably a mimic of something. Uh, you I mean, know. everything in here is a mimic saying, oh, I got you, it's a mimic, is like, yeah, we, we know. Everything is a mimic. Yeah. Literally we everything. Know. It's really fun. It's, I, just, I just like saying it. Well, yeah, you don't know what item is going to be like... A hostile an, an, mimic. A, a hostile. That's true. Yeah. That's what's the it problem just... here. I, I, thought these, I thought these stairs were friends, too. <laughs> they're not <laughs> these, <laughs> these stairs are, the stairs really over uh, that you walked down are fine but at the middle of the staircase that leads into what appears to be a taller staircase is not fine this guy is not being cool at all oh no. come on friend I like you much better bigger stairs yeah bigger stairs ask, are, are cool alright it just asked them if I give you like two mass large ratchets of delicious meats Hey, Can you just hey look at this. We're good to go. What do you mean? <laughs> the stairs just go, I get all your rations when you digest anyway. That's a win-win, baby. He, was he assaults you with his irrefutable logic. Why would he take your bribe when he'll get it anyway when you are consumed? Because he doesn't have he to spend the watching. calories to murder us if he doesn't murder us. He can refill those on you, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it might come out and exercise is important. The way. Exercise is super important. Otherwise, he'll become too fat and mimic and can't actually catch people anymore. Well, no, then he could be an even cooler, bigger set of stairs. He gets fat.
Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Jesse, there you is. Okay, is that everybody on? I believe so. Cool. All right, and so as the stairs lurch out and stretch towards you, what do you get? Uh, well, it's time to stab some stairs. Uh, st- had to stab some stairs. Yeah. Alright, here. Galapan. One. Two. Ow and ow. Let's see here. Six, twenty, thirty three. Ouchie. That's it for me. Okie doke. Gary, you're up. I am running out of resources. One, two, three, four. Ah, a ready action goes off. Hold up before you make your attack. Okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> he dispenses six pints of ale. Do you have a container? Um. Yeah, I have a couple empty potion bottles now. I don't Shock. think those are going to store pints, unfortunately. Well, no, but I'll still fill up my little shot glasses. Sure, sure. Oh, thanks, friend. Wait, are you not fighting us then? If you've never seen a barrel shrug before, it shrugs. Oh, okay. Gonna hold my attack action until he does something hostile, then. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to hurt our friends. Yeah. No, yeah, they I... saw you taking a short rest and wanted to give you drinks. <laughs> They thought that yeah. a drink break was a good idea, and also being drunk makes you extra delicious. Does it? It's true. Yeah. Yeah, we're uh, we're yeah. beer You become beer basted. <laughs> Yay. Uh... All right, uh, I'll just put a marker. This guy has six pints of ale available in him. Uh, Tiana. Yeah, well, friend, you're not going to let us through, huh? You start to see your eyes inside its tongue and they are glowing. Oh, oh no, it's got a laser in its mouth. Right. I'm firing my laser. Well, if you're going to be like that, I'm sorry, buddy. Do we got to conserve spell slots? And that's unfortunate. That's a pretty poor roll. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Uh... Let's pick a target. On the seven, it's Taji. One to three, Fauna. Four to six, Ariel. Fauna. Yes. Dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, it's disintegrating, trying to disintegrate me. How dare Whoa. you? Ooh, that's nasty. We got to get oh. rid of this thing now. I'm not blessed. Uh, you are not blessed. Nope. All right, you take 20 damage. As you are lazed by this thing's eye tongue. Yeah, we need to focus this thing down. All right. Jesse's gonna do some swashbuckler shit and leap down from here. Uh, I'll give her an acrobatics. If she can DFA, she gets advantage. Cool. It's not a great big jump, so that is fine. DFA. DFA. Well, yeah, you know, would have been the same either way, but hey. That's pretty good. Uh and she will, as a bonus action, disengage. <laughs> Warner, you're up. That hurt. That did hurt. I'll rage, and I will whack. I 
I was not. Need it in reckless die. Just a... no. Oh, oh no! Don't you dare eat my fucking my hammer. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Uh, would you like to do your divine damage for the first hit? Oh, did the did the fifteen? Yep, hit? fifteen hit. He is stairs. Uh, and then uh, I guess I'll make a adhesive check. Uh, the DC is thirteen to avoid having your uh, sensor yoinked. Do you want me to roll? What do you want me to roll for that? It's just strength. That's or... not a... athletic check. Has a bunch of both. Uh, whichever one is apl uh, applicable to an escape. So athletics or acrobatics. <laughs> You don't make the DC. Yeah, he, he snatches your sensor. It begins being um, snail rolled down the stairs. All right, let's see here. Uh, Ayo. Ayo. This guy's got five pints. This guy has three pints. Ali, you'll go. Yay. Um gonna catch bus. Okie pokey. Bless. 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 I don't know where the other blues come from though. Yeah, I don't actually think you two are blessed, I are they playing? I, I thought there was Ariel. Probably didn't off from last time. Oh, yeah, we yep. just didn't turn off from last time when it was on. Oh, um, instead, uh, bless that one. Yeah, sure, I'll take, you know, the, the usual frontliners. Yeah, and the, then, three, the threesome. Yeah. Oop. Turned yours off as I was putting them on. There we go. Because cool. I'm guessing that having an extra D4 to avoid being uh, slurped up will be useful. Yeah, 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 probably. Uh, all right, on this dude's turn, he is going to uh, ask you to drink. Have a pint. Hold on, I'm just going to... Is this safe? Uh, yes, this is absolutely safe. In fact, refusing to drink is what will piss them off. No, yeah, well, okay. So you insist. You can... Bottoms up, yeah. little buddy. Hell yeah. Uh, give me a constitution save as you just fucking chug a pint as he actually does dispense a tankard for you. Okay. When it, when it becomes apparent. Alright, you are one stage of drunk. I'm just gonna stick that on you there. And a pint is gone. <laughs> the pegs begin saying, Chug! 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 When did paladins get the immunity to poison? No. Third level. Oh, well, no, never. We don't have immunity to poison. Yeah, it's d diseases. You're thinking of monks, okay. I think. I can oh. uh, cure myself of poison, however. Yeah, you aren't poisoned, you're just a bit tipsy right now. I forgot. Um, Kiri did... Uh, you and uh, Hallie have a fling? I don't remember. Yes. Oh, okay. It's been a while, and I'm also very tired. Well, bonus action. Okay, so that's a bonus action. I. Uh, yeah. Throw out the bear jitsu with them. So everyone gets plus 13. Oh yeah, that's right. You were also giving everyone 13 temp HP, so that would have been really weird if you had been multi-classed. Yes, I know. It's like, I was just, like I said, retarded. Okay, so that's the bonus action and uh, main action. Well, let's see if it's roasty toasty.
Uh, all right, the stairs. We can get owned by some fire. That was a real. That was maybe your best bonfire yet. Yeah. Surprising how fucking D eights. Ariel. Okay. Um. Bonus action. I'm gonna use the hex blade curse on it. Make a sigh of increased criticals and stuff like that. Because uh, this thing needs to go. It needs to go now. Uh, 15 to hit it. Uh, and a 28 to hit it. A 15 and a 28. Those are hits. Okay. Cool. Uh, use... mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and use... One one uh one smite. Okay, okay. It's not a crit. It's not an undead or fiend. Eleven more damage. Cool. Have you included the damage for hitting a shapeshifter? Yep, that's yeah. a three rating cool. on the top there. Yeah, cool. All righty. And at I've the just, end of your turn, I remember just, that he uh, has a legendary action and uh, is going to uh Laz Fauna again. Oh. Pew. Ooh. Oh, that's a spicy one. Dexterity save, please, Kina. Is it the save versus all? Kina. I guess he got up. All right, I'll roll for poor Fauna. Yeah, have, uh... yeah, I'm aware that danger sense is a thing that exists. Danger sense. Uh... Alright. Fine, it's all fine. It's all oh, good. Save or take, it's not even for half. Alright, carry her up. Well, um... So let me get this straight, little buddy. You want me to drink all your beer, huh? Chug, 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 chug. All right, hold on one second. Kira's going to get on her knees. Pour it in, boys. <laughs> You're just going to put your head under the tap. Fuck yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess I can range lesser resto, so if you get the poison condition, yeah. Oh, can... you just get drunk all over again though if you're still full of poison. <laughs> That's we've we've already ruled that. Like it's great for the hangover, but if you you're still like shit house drunk, you you cure poison for like a minute and then you're hammered again. All that Daddy. beer is still in you. Oh, I was hoping I could actually like consume some of their beer on my turn. Oh, yeah, sure. If you want to uh, make that your action, yeah, that, that makes let's, sense. Let's uh, let's start getting these guys down so whatever happens when they hit zero happens. Sounds good to me. Uh, all right. Well, I... Give me a constitution saving throw. There you go. Apparently, I'm just going to roll twos all day. Well, that's fine. You are only stage two drunk. Uh, roll me a... Uh... 1d2 plus 1. Let's see if you can drink all of them in one go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you fucking drain this dude dry. Just three pints straight down. Glug, glug, glug. How chunks the two is scary? Extremely. I just keep oh, rolling okay. a fucking two. Uh, I have a, yeah, I have a plus seven, seven plus two, plus one d4 on the save. I just can't roll dice. Alright, you're stage two drunk. Okay. Gay! 22 drunk, oh no! <laughs> I died of alcohol poisoning. That's I've it. I've been twenty two drunk before. That's when yep. I drank an entire bottle of um death store gin. And then I went to death store. I Sounds mean, right. 
Same. If you keep drinking, if you drink uh, this next, uh, was it sixteen pints? Chug, chug, chug. It's really good too. When the mimic returns to just barrel form, you can see that it's even got like a really quirky like uh, ale branding on it, like a fancy logo and everything. I'm cute. I love you, barrel mimic. <laughs> Bonus action, give it a hug. Uh, uh, that seems like a very terrible decision. They have the adhe adhesive trait when they're being uh, that's right. <laughs> well, no, that's fine. Oh, I, I'm immune. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, then you can give him a hug. You do not adhese. Or you can just hug the one that's not a barrel form. Yes, but you can see there's a big logo that says Uncle Sticky's Funnest Beverages. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, uh, I guess I'm gonna try Shocking Grasp this time. Okie doke. Oh, fuck, you shocking. I'm gonna take a step. Okay. I can't uh, take reactions now. Uh. Cool, yep. Alright, he was stretched. And now he can take reactions again, but hey. Eh. Yeah. It's more for me getting out of, out of his range than. Well, it's at the start of its next turn. Yep, and its turn is now, so it's fine. Yeah, it was used so Taji could back out. All right, Faunra, more deck save. Keen is still away. No, I'm here. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned the danger sense because I forgot I had that class feature. Not that it helps me when the DC is high. Hey, roll nope. a D4. I mean, you have Bless. Oh, I am blessed. Oh, fuck, that's uh -huh. blessed. It could it could matter. Hashtag Bless. It could. I, just, I need to roll a three. You have literally coin flip chances. Yeah. 50-50. Oh, there you go. Right. No laser. Um, I didn't like how it made my whole body buzz the last time it hit me. Yeah, and it will try and plap Ariel with a pseudopod, just because it can try. Uh, a 23 would hit, uh, and I will allow it to hit, So, because I have temp HP, so that's good. Sure. Bonk. Alright, uh, actually, you know what? Jesse's going to join in the chugging here, because uh, you guys probably... Need someone to make sure Kiri doesn't lose consciousness. Fuck yeah, girl. Oh! <laughs> Party! <laughs> <laughs> She's fine as well. <laughs> if if anyone would knew how to chug without getting too drunk, I'd imagine it'd be Jesse. That's how she fights anxiety. All right, at the end oh. of her turn, legendary action. We've got to try and last Jesse, but uh, last Fauna before it's too late. Fucking terrible garbage shit roll, though. Yo, uh, question. Saving your paladin or has uh, what kind of plus? It's a plus two 10 foot radius. Oh, yeah. Border is also, also in that. Speed. Oh, that's, that's cool. nice. That aura is real cool. Uh, but yeah, Funner, please save. Oh, I'm getting shot again. Yeah, why is yeah, it just me? Again. It's just me. Is uh, it just because you, you like the taste of my, my of my hammer? You want the rest of me now? Fuck you. All right, you dodge another fucking disintegration beam, and now it is your turn. Give me back my hammer. It is already traversing down to the bottom of the stairs. God damn it. It's literally doing that peristaltic motion thing and rolling it down the stairs. Oh. Oh. I think this mimic might just be the tongue in Whatever. this entire room. It's just mouth. the tongue. Oh, God. Yes. 
Correct. Oh, God. He was stretched. This guy is one great big tongue all the way down. Uh. <laughs> what a clever okay. dude. Alright, you fucking double bonk with authority. Uh, 12 plus 2 plus 14 plus 2 plus 8. 38. Ooh, he's close. Chop, chop. Alright, right, Howie, steal the kill. Do it. The end of your turn. Oh, uh, he was watching, is gonna dispense more alcohol into Jesse. Good luck, Jesse. The DC got a lot higher now that you've chugged fucking three pints. Oh my god. Okay, no, she's getting drunk <laughs> now. What, only off, uh, only off of three pints? Come on now. It's been fair, like four. It's, 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 it's five. stage one. That's the four. Yeah, she's only tipsy now, so she's she's doing fantastically for like the fourth pint of strong ale. All right, and this guy is off the turn order because he is sated. She strikes me as a boiler maker type of girl. Her preference is probably like one stout, and that's it. Oh, piece of fuck! All right. Con save. Alright, if I can not roll a two or a one, that would be really nice. See, there we go. Good job, uh, hey, Siri. you you staggeringly do not get drunker. Uh, and yeah, that's another pipe ticked off. That's the most I've ever done on a javelin two. God damn it. Yep. Uh, this I'll one is going damage. to begin angrily shouting chug 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 at you guys. I guess we'll see. Come over indeed. here and chug yourself. Uh, give me a persuade. All right. No. <laughs> now he's he's supposed to stay there. That's the rules. Barrels don't walk. Everyone knows that. You roll, dumbass. There's no one to push him over. Uh, fine. Let me finish sucking your friend off here. No, no, I got this. Let me show you how to do the suck. All right, yeah, he has oh, a radio no. action. Oh no, this poor fucking mimic. All right, Bob, it's your guy. This is uh, yeah, could be either really good or really bad for Bob. I mean, it's going to be fantastic for Bob. It's a question: of, Does this mimic die from dehydration or not? All right, <laughs> give me, give me, give me a con save, Bob. Okay. I was more thinking like about uh, how sucking down four pints at once could be probably pretty bad for you. Man, hey, think, here's the thing. Four pints is nowhere near the normal amount that Bob drinks. That's actually much less. It's true. It's just that it's, uh, don't forget that your action is six seconds. That's a lot to, no, okay. So you managed well, to get through uh, a pint. Well, it's doing a kegger. Oh, okay. you know. oh no, okay. Uh, yes. With a 13, yeah, give me a 1d2 plus one. Ah, I was going to initialize the suck ability. Uh -huh. No, no. Oh. There is just a certain yeah, amount that you can consume in a single six seconds, and the maximum limit is three pints, which is already fucking awe-inspiring. Wait, a 13 okay, passes? So... Uh, no, as in, the, that's, <laughs> Bob is going to get stage one tipsy, but also can oh, consume okay. more than an pint. Okay, okay, I mean, fair enough. Yeah. So the, threshold, the... The, threshold, the threshold is basically DC 11, you get, uh, was it no uh, DC thirteen? Lower than that is you can only consume a pint. You get drunker. Thirteen to fifteen, you get drunker, but you can do one d two plus one. Uh, if you crit, four pints. <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, you fucking still, despite all of your rage, managed to suck three pints out of this dude. Ariel. Okay. I'm trying to finish this thing. Uh, first bonk hits and drops it. Ah, perfect. Good. The um, stairs go still and to become stair-shaped again. Oh, good. Um, there is a clatter as your hammer hits the floor and probably a ringing uh, down in the next level corner. Oh, I'm probably going to regret this, oh. but I suppose I'm going to go up here and Try and help pacify this thing. I'm not the best drinker when it comes to just ale. Alright, 
Can't save. Okay, friend. Now I've changed. Oh, oh, hey, oh hey, 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 get back! You're We're still initiative. in combat. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, do I still even do I have enough action to do it? Or is it just because I did attack? You have another attack. You didn't need to actually use the second one. That's okay. enough to pour a spigot. But more importantly, this guy, since he was getting irate as no one was approaching, has a ready to action to feed you uh, the first person who gets close. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna use Can't my inspiration. Yeah, I'm gonna use my inspiration on this. Sweet. It doesn't matter. Fourteen. Everyone's just whiffing their con saves so hard. All Listen, right. I don't have good con saves, Keenan. You get a step tipsier, uh, and you are fed I'm... a pint. Yeah, oh, but I thought it was baseline 13, I could roll like 1d2 His plus ready one. action, though, is just to dispense a pint. Now it's your turn to try and drink from him. Go again. Oh. See, the cruelty of this is that when they do their quote-unquote attack, they can only ever dispense one pint, because that makes you do the most saves. Okay. So yeah, alright, give it a go. <laughs> um, you're a fucking lightweight. Yeah, yeah I am. Uh, one pint. <laughs> Oh no! You fall over. There we go. Kiri. Oh, like yeah. I said, I'm going to regret this. I'm not a very good ale drinker. Bob, do you got this little guy? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna suck him okay. dry. Mind if I go and help your friend? Chug, 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 chug. Alright, I'm gonna go chug from this guy. Help Ariel. Chug. All right, fucking hell. What is it? One d three plus one. Uh, no, that's still one d two plus one. Oh. No, two pints. Staggeringly, you do not get drunk. Huh? Taji. All right, now I'll go up and help. The <laughs> yep. All right, come on. Wow. <laughs> Franca, one pint. This one here is like really, really done his work. Yeah. Wow. That's that six has that six has, that's six has gone far. <laughs> All right, and Jesse. Well, we'll see if she gets drunker, but she succeeds regardless. All right. Oh wow, she's just tipsy and she fucking drains this whole keg herself. She burps. Her ample. Bonner. Uh, there's two pints left, I guess. Mm hmm. And your companions are getting rip roaring drunk. Okay, you guys need to fuck it. Okay, okay, you're gonna, if you get that, if you just get that drunk, you're gonna. No, Hallie's got a turn to go to. She's also very constituted. If you get, if you just get knocked out by the drinking, you're gonna be useless down here. So Connor will drink the rest of the sword. Yes, please, just push me out of the way. I will push you out of the way. Oh, oh. all right, can't save. All right, you're fine, and you just just lift the whole keg and drink him. He just goes wee as he's upended and then placed back down again. How what what's the quality of this of this? Oh, beer? it's really fucking delicious ale. It's fantastic, and they've got re it's like a really charmingly patterned barrel and everything. I'm gonna stare down at this thing. Hey, can you can I take you with me? <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. I'll offer advantage. Yeah, go for it. Heck, can I roll? Yeah. Okay, I want a barrel mimic, friend. Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, we do. Yes. Am, are yeah. we still in combat? You're still technically in combat, so that's actually a success. We will feed you. Yes. We will. We will feed you all the all you want on around the road, and you just give us. You just yeah. If you beer. if you pour in rations, he'll pour out ale. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah. Barrel mimic he eat, friend. He, he, eat, he eats a ration a day and produces one uh, d eight pints of alcohol up to a maximum of eight. Let me uh, let me go update our ration requirements. And Hallie, there's one left. Didn't Bob say that he wanted to face tank that one? 
Well, it's true, but you could also say Bob the risk of getting <laughs> next stage drunk. <laughs> Just wandering blitzed through this dungeon. Uh, sure, why not? Bimbo move goes in. My turn! Cod save. Doo -doo. Oh. Alright, tipsy, you drink the last pint. Porter is now the only sober person in the party. Woo! And yeah, you can add to your party barrel mimic. Excellent. <laughs> Yay! That's all I ever wanted. All right. I let's... drink mimic friend. fine wine. I don't consume ale like that. Hey, hey. Chris to, solidify, to solidify our agreement, I will feed it. This reminds One me meat ration. Uh, this reminds me of the Harvest Festival. Oh, oh God, he's, she's oh, also no. a woo girl. You're gonna oh, start. No, you're, don't, don't you're gonna a start a woo. woo. Don't be a woo girl. You're gonna start a woo. <laughs> An ah woo. All right, now I need to uh, pick some some long term art for your new companion. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Glorious Lord Mimicton. Oh, man. Wait, does Roll20 Marketplace have just have a collection of mimics? Probably. I wouldn't be Damn. surprised. I saw one that looked great, and then it had the Roll20 watermark on it. Wish I'd known that before Mimic Dungeon. Okay, I, I think I found the image for your friend. So, uh, I can him up in a moment. All right, so yeah, what do? Uh, it would appear that the way going forward is down the stairs we just defeated, so perhaps we should go down there. What a sentence that was. Down the stairs we just defeated. Yep. Now that you've defeated these the stairs in time. combat, Alright, and save. You take my minutes down on my blade. Explore. Down to six minutes on that blade. Okay, just need to make sure that he is on your uh, landing page. Uh, <laughs> picture, Tox. Uh, this is fantastic. I'm delighted. Blue. Oh, me too. What a good boy. You know, you know, if it doesn't have a name, just call him Barry. There you go. You have a glorious friend. Barry the Barrel Mimic. The Bear Barrel Mimic. That's two on the nose. Nah, his name is just Sir Ale Friend. He's Carl. I like Sir okay. Ale Friend. Carl. <laughs> Carlsberg. Do -ho -ho. No, yeah, just Carl. Go. There you go. There he is. Sir Ale Friend. Your glorious heroic companion. I love him. I mean, you should go with the companions, not the... So should Tammy, really. No, Tammy's back with the rival party now. Tammy's back with the rivals. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Safe and sound. Okay. So, what, what does the drunken state actually do for us, Mc Mechanically, if anything. You're poisoned. Okay. Oh. That should be, should be said and addressed here for us to know. 
I apologize. Yes, you are poisoned. You and Ariel. Can I cure it now that I'm done drinking? No, it's probably going to... You have At least some of that alcohol has got to go through your system before you, like curing it won't just get you drunk again. So we have to go through like at least a, probably a battle before we can do or that. Or short rest. You, uh, yeah, you, you just got to work it through your system. Or uh, oh, let, right. let Hallie and Bob whip you up like a uh, a quick greasy meal. Short well, rest in the we, sandwich, no, maybe. No, we, we should not short rest. We are running out of time. We have no idea how much more of this dungeon we have, and I mean, we are down to like listen, it, five or four hours. Yeah, and we have enough resources left for one more short rest anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's true. All right, so squeeze you all together like a big. Oh, wait, uh, before we go, before we go. Uh, uh, hi, Kiri. What? Since you have a penchant for bricks, take these. <laughs> and I give you two. <laughs> yeah, I just fucking told him with the brick. No, uh, I give her two superior healing potions. Oh, but thanks, I guess. Yeah, I saw you like get tenderized down back upstairs to be like, yeah, and you're like totally weren't into you know getting your face smashed in by bricks, so. Yeah, I'm not really into that, but I also got my own potions, so you don't gotta. You do? How many I got? Two? Are they good as these guys? Yes, they're the same kind. I'm a professional adventurer, too. Oh. Yes. Okay. I can give you one then. That's why you have three. You're just uh, sure. We'll split more. the difference. Yes. Here, you can have this then. Okay, we'll take out an oil of slipperiness and hand it to you. Oh, I got like, they just lift the robe and just shows like cut vials along the chest. I got spares. Yeah, me you too. You got one. Yeah. Mind if I take one? Sure. Call it even. I think they like the same rare. And with that. You want some oil? Good for that still. Oh, no. You were asking for oil. So, or do you, what? Do you want a potion? Oh, yes. I seem to be the only one that actually got hurt in that fight. Yes, oh, yeah, folks yeah, who yeah, fight sure. down. Yeah, here you go. Here, I have a potion of spirit here. It's very one? flavored. Delicious. Uh, 80, uh, what's that, like 84 plus 8? Yeah. Oof. That'll bring you back to full. Nice. All right. If you're all prepared, you can once more descend the stairs. Yeah. At the bottom, Fornery, you can grab your mace and you can see the next set of stairs from which there is a glow. Uh, is the, is my hammer around here somewhere? Yeah, yeah, it's right. I just said it. It's down at the bottom here. Ah, excellent. It's tumbled to the bottom of the stairs. You pluck it up, brush it off. Make All sure right, we take our blue dots off. Yep. And assuming it's been ten minutes, which it hasn't so Less far. only lasts a minute. Oh. Less only lasts a minute, yeah. Oop. All right, fair enough. Don't worry, I have enough spell slots to, to just uh, re-up it again, because I'm only using the um, lower level one mm. to only bless... A uh, three people rather than four. Fair enough. All right, Bet's on this staircase trying to eat us. Pretty high. Uh, but I think it's probably going to be the walls this red? time because uh, this dungeon doesn't yeah. do repeats. That's true. Could be no. the walls. Or the floor. 
Maybe if that was the tongue mimic, we'll fight the tonsil mimic next. Kiri looks up at the ceiling. As you look up at the ceiling, you can see. It looks like a ceiling. Although the ceiling is definitely watching you, there are a bunch of eyes that are just tracking your journey. Hey, friends! I wave. They do the blink equivalent of waving. So it just starts that starts blinking from one side of the room and then goes to the other. Yeah, yeah. Blink, blink. Alright then, so if cute. nothing's going to stop us, why don't we just go ahead and go on down? Would you like to lead the way, Tayana? This is uh, your place. I guess so, yes. Uh, I'd like to right. see if I can make a perception check to, or like an arcana check or something. Go Figure out what it. that glow is. Yeah. The glow is magic. Sorry, the cool, DC is thanks. like stup stupendously high here. Got it. But as Worth you shot. descend the stairs first. Yeah, oh. You can see the wow, source that. of the glow as well as seven incredibly dusty old looking chests. Oh dear. Look. Look for the one with the chain next to it. Well, they all have chains next to them. It's not. Yeah, they're all point. Point, they're yeah. all pointing towards you, but they are all cobwebbed and dusty. Ah, so, so there's not one pointing away from us. Right, we're on the. We just need to follow her down. Yeah, I'm the one going yeah. down. I know. Yeah. As I was gonna say, whenever anyone says they follow, I'll throw them. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm following. Yeah, put me down there. Okay. The no, rest okay, of the going. team. Yep. Make some space in them stairs, then. You'll have to make okay. your way down so the rest okay. of the party can follow you. That's tumble. That, right, that's walking back up again. <laughs> oh, I hope this is fear of annihilation. That'd be... No, you can still hear your friends walking down the stairs. Yeah. Well, this looks like I'm Yeah. Yes, yeah, quite. Who, who's a friend here? You are responded to with silence. Oh. There is just like the soft sound of ambient magic in the air. Right, don't don't step on the floor. Okay. What do you think? I mean, what are you thinking, Bob? Let me let me have a peep at this, so Okay. I'm gonna do this to begin with. Ooh, nice. And uh advantage. Okay. So twenty-seven. Uh, so yeah, uh, you see exactly what you see. I I have described the room. There is glowing crystals, some kind of magic symbol in the side, and there are seven chests. Each of them appears to be dusty and has not been stirred or moved in any fashion for any time. They have uh, the classic identification that marks one as a mimic, as in the chains that hang from the sides of them are pointed uh, inward instead of away. Hmm. Uh, Got that backwards. Is, is the magic circle here actually glowing and everything? Yep. It can is I the source of this glow. The crystals are glowing as well. You can also make an arcana test, but okay. the DC is very high. Oh, I'm not going to pass that, I know, because I have disadvantage from being poisoned. That's right, you are also a little bit sloshed. But, uh, yeah, if I can make a dark contract from back here, maybe, who that knows? doesn't matter to me at all. Oh, hell. No. no, you have no fucking idea. You're not even sure this is magic. Trick. Hey, at least I'm hey. sure it's magic. Okay, well, everything's probably fine, then. Let's go. What you should do, Tayana, is you should, you should step in the middle of that. Obviously, that's a ma mimic trans power trans put thing in you. Trans mimic. Trans mimic. The trans mimic. Oh no! That's just well, a someone pose. That, right, that's, that's, that's what sure. that knight in armor was at the start. It was just pretending to be. It's just a. It's a mimic in an adventurer's body. You see. It will inscribe upon you the power of mimics. Probably, maybe, definitely. Yeah, no. Right. I at least want to take a look at the chests first before I go to the magic circle. Gonna hop down go. on the stairs. Yep. Yeah, nothing attacks you when you land down on the ground. Nice. Mm, moving so Jesse has a space. Yeah, she'll watch you guys from the Hi. stairs here. She's got eyes. 
and the ability to DFA. Yeah. Mm. What does that stand for? I'm I'm clueless. Death from, right from above. From above. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I'll... you can see that this is a dusty chest. Yeah, I'll try to undust it. Sure, you brush some dust off of it. Mm -hmm. No reaction, huh? No reaction. Huh. Does it make the indication that it's locked, or...? Doesn't appear to be locked, it's just closed. Okay, well... I'm gonna... Make the attempt to open it, I think. Sure. Its hinges are heavy, but you slowly open it mm. and reveal nothing. Looks to be yeah. an empty chest. Weird. Mm. Didn't want to rip off. Um. Didn't didn't the mimic have to start say something about like this being like the way down to like a council member thing or something like that? Yeah. No, they said this was down to the sex dungeon. Maybe we have to step in the circle. Yeah, I think maybe. This is only the third level, fourth level. Mm, check Next out the other chests. The maybe they're not all empty. Yeah, you can yeah, check each of them. Check uh, this one. Sure. Uh, let's see here. As you look through all of the chests, you realize that each of their interiors is a different color. Hmm. Although the chests themselves are empty. We and made of what? Red. Yeah, they appear to be like wooden slats. Okay, so they're... Do any of them have false yeah. bottoms? No, no, no. And uh, let's see. Here, let me let me see something. I thought you were gonna like do the standard green? rainbow no, color like the you... rainbow. No, there is no green. Weird. But blue and yellow are next to each other. Let me just check his chest. Sure, give me an investigate. You should check the purple one, because everything in here is purple. She makes a good point. Uh, that was the first one Taji opened, too. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, the the cyan one was. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I just moved over to check the purple one. That's a weird video. Uh, Thanks for sharing. All right, Craig. as you look this chest over... Uh, you can see that the wooden inside of this chest, you can in fact, like, quite easily take the planks that make up the interior body of this chest out, but it doesn't reveal any false bottom. What does it reveal? Just the floor? Yeah, well, it, it reveals, like, the, the bound leather and metal, like, the framework remains of this chest. You can basically dismantle the inside of this chest with incredible ease. Hmm. And the bottom Are of the chest is where the dead? colored wood is, right? Yep. Well, no, the interior of the chest is. Oh. Is are the are the slats on the bottom colored? Yeah, they're all the same interior color. What colors make Wait, are purple? These dead? The... What do you mean what colors make purple? We already have the purple color right there. Well, that's pink. Magenta. Uh I mean, it's, it's that color is close enough to this color. Hmm. Otherwise, I think it's think we red. Put the chests on the circle. Is there Otherwise, is there a uh, blue and red? Because blue and red makes yeah. purple. Yeah, you do have blue and red. Yeah, red and blue right there. Oh, I I, I can't hang on. All right. Oh, okay. First of all, let's just try putting the purple chest in the purple. See what happens. I, if anything. I, I still think you should just stand in the middle of the circle. Mm. I think we're overcomplicating mm. it with rainbow this colors. Is clearly I think you a puzzle. Stand. <laughs> yeah, this is clearly a puzzle. But or, also, it's a mimic dungeon. 
or it's Scout trying to just desperately waste our time while we without actually putting a puzzle here where she does something else. Yeah. That's, oh, I'm not doing anything that's else. I'm, saying. I, I'm, I'm hands off keyboard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think Taeyong should just stand in the middle of the circle and see what happens. Well, okay, Taji, up to you. All right. Okay, you leave the chest I guess behind. I will. Step into the circle. And uh, mm -hmm. let's make you vanish. Uh -oh. Okay, so that teleports. Okay. As uh, coruscant lights uh, wash over you, and then you can see she is pulled down through the floor. Oh, why? Oh, oh Taddy, awesome. I'm going to tumble you out here. Don't tell anyone what you see because they can't see what you see right now. All right. Uh, and then. How do I manually move one player over to a place? You grab their nameplate off the bottom. Yeah. Ah, there we go. All right. Like, two seconds after she goes through, Kiri's going to pick up the purple chest and just walk into the teleporter, too. Okay. Uh, as you move to pick up this chest, it crumbles into pieces. You can see that there are still some interior wooden slats that are completely intact, but otherwise, the chest falls to fall apart completely. Yeah. That makes. Does it? But you are still like... holding a piece of uh, purple pink wood. Does it look like the wood can be slotted in anywhere in this room? Not what you can see. How many pieces of pink is start there? Picking up the wood, I guess. I'll just like start gathering some wood from these chests. I sure. don't know. If it might be useful. Probably a reason why it's here. Yeah, I will take my arm full of purple and then. Well, oh, better save the kitty cat. Yeah. Let's pick wood from all of them and just go around grabbing up boards from each one of them so we have sure. them all. Yeah, all right. You can um, reach into each chest and pluck a colored board from each of them and then follow Taji in. Uh, Tayana, you are bowled right the fuck over by your companions, like. Tumbling down the staircase. Don't worry, Taj, I'm here to say full. Don't shit, fuck. Why is it a staircase? Ah. I'd like to say that it's very soft when you land on Hallie, but she's wearing plate armor. Yep. I'd so say yeah. the same, but uh, the bus coverage the way everyone else fucking tumbles down in an absolute heap. Well, this is a very nice map, by the way. I like the other yeah. one. You can see everything. I feel way. sorry I for the... that's intentional or not. I feel. Uh, yeah, I don't need lighting in here. Okay. All right. I just good. feel sorry for the fucker that uh, Bob lands on. Yeah. What is most important is that there are signs everywhere, and you can see that they are written in a language incomprehensible, yet once read, understood completely and implicitly. First of all. There is a signpost hanging uh, on the wall, like, right above Bob, where this staircase, like, obviously terminates and wraps around itself. It says, warning, wild magic. Uh-oh. Oh, Uh-oh. Oh, shit. And now, to describe the room. To the Northwest statue, you can see a bearded giant with bleeding eyes. To the Northeast, you can see a scaled man with a sword in his chest. To the Southeast, you can see a shining paladin with a sword in his neck. And to the southwest, a man covered in mouths like a chest. Which, modif which is modified by like a chest? I've, I've pulled up titles, you should be able to read them. As difficult as it is to no, read. No, 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 like... I mean with man or mouths. It's what? covered in mouths like a chest. Like it's written. It's right here on the screen. Yeah, in front no, of you. but I mean, is okay, the man like a chest or are the mouths like oh, a chest? Oh, mouth the the mouths as though you'd found on mimic chests. It's covered in mouths that seem to be 
like all over its body. It right. appears to be made of mini mech. Oh. So, okay. is this is this warning for the area that we're in, or like the area that the staircase goes into? Big oh. fucking shrug. Over here in the south is yeah. a doorway that says "Mimics Only." It is in a block capitals. The west is something called the Crafter's Wall. To the northeast, the Councilman's Chamber. Sorry, to the north even, it's just the Councilman's Chamber, and to the east is the Councilor's Rest. Hmm. And now I am going to pull out a sand timer. Because we have mild magic going on, yeah. You're pulling out a what timer? Sand timer. I'm counting down. Okay. The count has begun. What do you do? I will pause any time you ask a question. Could I yeah, get gonna... more information about this knight here? Sure. So, this shining paladin with a sword in his neck appears to be a handsome elven man. He has a rather heroic appearance, a very neatly cropped beard, pointed elfin uh, ears, uh, and there is symbology on his breastplate that seems very reminiscent of the classic Hagen symbol. Ooh. All right. Is the sword uh, part of the statue, or is it a physical, like, metallic weapon? Uh, the whole statue. The whole statue. As in, the sword is a part of the statue. Okay. Uh, hmm. I have a question real quick. Does sure. it look like the statues are missing anything? Give me an intelligence check. God damn it. Okay. They all well, do have open hands. Well, this is at disadvantage. Oh. A shame. <laughs> Brain no think good. Boo is fun. All right. You know what? Damn it. Kiri's going to take her holy symbol of Hagen out and put it in the statue's hand because it's open. The statue's hand closes and the sword clatters from his neck. Fuck yeah. Wow. Praise the sun, it's... motherfucker. Is this bearded giant with bleeding eyes actively bleeding? Uh, no. The blood appears to have uh, been painted as though trickling down, or perhaps glued on. It appears to be a different substance from actually blood, and it is physically on this statue, like a stain that's traveled down it. Is it like paint? Uh, it is dark and red and rusty. Mm. Athletics check. Uh, are any of the mouths on the... Uh... On the the man covered in mouths, uh, is, are any of the mouths open? Um, some appear to be in the classic mimic grin. Uh, some are open. Okay, I'll, in one of the open mouths, I'll put in a gold coin. It's a look and make sure I haven't pulled my notes out of the GM layer. Uh, yeah, the mouth closes. Cool. <laughs> and just making sure we, I I just. Ma open mouth, that that means coin for mimic. That's just what it means to me. Yeah. All right, the sixteen, right. and I have like large creature uh, carrying capacity anyway. Sure. You acquire a great sword plus one. It appears to be made entirely of stone. Sweet. Wow. Once you attune to it, it'll resize to your size, but currently it is obscenely heavy and, you know, scaled up to a giant. Excellent. So yeah, if you would like to put on your uh, character sheet somewhere, stone greatsword plus one. Yeah. I only have one idea for this one. Well, yeah. what do you have idea for? Um, the bearded giant with bleeding eyes. You know, because places weird and magic, uh, maybe use, uh, one of the charges of my wand of cure wounds and, uh, tap his eyes with it. Could do. The magic definitely hand a potion. The magic definitely soaks into the giant, but cure wounds does not appear to do anything. 
Yeah. Well, uh, can you help with medicine here? Yeah, I'll give you advantage. Uh, do you have? Yeah. It is impossible to tell for sure since this giant's eyes are closed, but you have a sneaking suspicion that the eyelids are lent back a little bit further. This individual is likely missing their eyes beneath the eyelids. Hmm. Maybe in the crafters areas we could find uh, like replacement orbs or something? Well, can we see? Is, there, I don't, is this uh, just no. a solid door? It's a solid door, but it appears to be on hinges and there is no lock. So... Yeah, I'm going to knock this, on the councilman's chamber. Can the sword in this guy's chest be pulled out? Potentially. You need to do something to make them let go. Well, no, I'm, I'm asking, like, am I actually able to pull it out? Is it wiggleable out, or... It's to... honestly hard to tell. You would probably need to really put some muscle into it. It appears to be a keeping helping of statue sword. Uh, that here. said, give me a religion test. A religion test. Oh, great. I'm great at those, especially disadvantaged. Here, why don't you uh, help you me? Should fix why don't that. Why don't you help me. Help me. I know. All right. I know fine. Can do. All right. I know. It's like, oh, it's a shame you're drunk. So it's a normal success. I know. Uh, but you and Ariel both know it instinctively, and Fauna because you're a uh a, a, just a. Legendary weapon of file. That there looks like the Holy Avenger. Well, shit. It's a recreation of a sort of a le of a sort of legend. How do you know it's a recreation? It might just be the actual thing. Uh. Is it also made of stone? Surely, it not. appears to be part of the statue. Mm -hmm. I mean, this giant sword I'm dragging around is a real magic sword. Anyway, tell me about this this sword and scaly man. What's what's his deal? Uh, what race? Yeah, when you look at this, you don't recognize him as anyone in particular. He appears to be a dragon and humanoid form. Though you've been around them enough to know. Hey, uh, uh, Tiana, Tiana, do you have a Bellatrix holy symbol? Yes. Uh, you could have tried picked one, one up. Yeah. By... yeah. Gib. Give, give, give. Sure. Okay, you put a Bellatrix holy symbol in it, in its hand, and it begins to melt. And from this thing's body oh. irradiates a terrifying, painful, devastating heat, and you can hear the pounding of an incredibly heavy heartbeat, as though it belonged to some titanic creature of unimaginable size. And you can even see it make the blade that is buried in the statue's chest a rattle. Big fun to try yeah. and pull it out. I will attempt to pull out the sword, I guess, yeah. Okay. Athletics test, please. I'll help. I. Uh, you're gonna help? Okay. I was just gonna shift uh, to get advantage, but okay. Your shifting is. Is that athletics for all athletics? Uh, oh, um, yeah, just gain advantage on athletics and acrobatics. All right. With a 17, you try really goddamn hard and you get out a little ways, but it's not quite successful and this will burn 10 seconds. But you're nearly there. You can give it another go. While that's I happening, can I go this guy. way? Sure. Oh, there we go. Hey, Scoo. Okay. Uh, yep, one at one a time. I shall pause the timer. Uh, ask ahead. Um, I want to come over here and see if these eyes are wiggle outable. Yes, uh, although you'll probably need some to utilize some of the tools in this room to do so. Okay. Um... That sounds like Call Jesse. Uh, yeah, probably. 
someone with actual uh I have cooking skills but not cra uh any crafting abilities or thieving abilities. Can I ask Jesse for help? Okay. Jesse will come on over and help. I'm just wondering if the Bellatrix holy symbol was the wrong choice here. And I guess she'll use Carpus tools and just jimmy it out. She's probably going to break her tools, but worth it. She'll replace what she can out of this set, but unfortunately this is masonry. So yeah, that is a 27, and she will be able to, with uh, perfect alacrity, pull this giant pair of what appears to be entirely solid diamond eyes out. As for Fornra. Fauna, the blade comes away in your hands, and the sound of the pounding heart goes to a rest, and the fiery burning heat that had been washing over the lot of you begins to diminish, although you are all now quite sweaty. Oh, all shit, right. this thing's heavy. Yep, I know, it right? is a large stone, let's see here, broadsword, although it looks like it's got a little bit more half, like you'd call it a great sword. Just barely, maybe. But it could probably be wielded in a hand. Like a bastard sword, then. Yeah, it really puts the bastard in bastard sword. Could it be the actual magic when it comes out of it? It'll be a good uh, tool for you, I suppose. I don't know, maybe. Can't think of a better weapon. I assume it's not a holy Avenger. Than a holy event. It is not, but you can try and identify it. But I don't know that you have that much time. But it is definitely no. very magical compared to the uh, great sword. Late. Unfortunately, the great sword used Later. to lay out Hagen was not like a weapon of legend in its own right. I mean, it'll be we look over it later. Oh, okay. All right. Um, is it my turn yet? Uh, yep. Uh, Give me a swift second, I need to update this uh, item. Okay. I will pause the time while I do that, because it'd be real fucked. Okay, that is fixed. I'll move that off to the side. That sword was a baller, but it didn't have a legendary reputation. No problem. Alright, Stray, what day? Alright, uh, I'm gonna ask for the eyes and then go back over here. Yeah, she'll give you the eyes and wander back over. Does anyone have any holy water? Oh baby, do I have holy water? <laughs> How much you need, sweet tits? I want to put these eyes back in uh, the giant and then uh, wash away the blood. Okay. You want to wash away the blood first or put the eyes in first? I, I think we should replace the eyes first because they, you know, you got to fix it before uh, it'll stop. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. It's always it's always that way with magic stuff. Kiri begins okay. fiddling with her shirt again. Okay. Uh walk me to like surgically help you with this. Uh yeah. To be fair, these appear to be like solid statue eyes and stop. The first timer has ticked down to zero. Oh. God. Wild That's magic good. time. Oh boy. Okay. Who would like to roll me a 1d1000? Oh no. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh, 1d1000. Oh, no. Here you go. 997. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. That's I did not expect oh. that. Um oh god. Why there was a 1 in 1000 chance of that particular result? There was, there was, but it's more along the lines of there was a like 5 in a 1000 or 4 in a 1000 of that coming up. You will gain one ability score. 
Oh, like what? We gave me ASI. Oh, shit. One, 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 one single score. point. Yep, oh, one, one single, single ASI. Make sure to re um, record on your sheet what that number is because I is, actually will throw you out. Is it otherwise? Is it Wait. randomly applied? Do we have to like you roll choose. a one D? You, you oh, choose which really? statistic it goes into. Although roll me a D two, whether it is a physical or a mental attribute. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's a physical attribute. Oh, for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry. I thought oh, we were okay. rolling oh. individually. So, so like the yeah. like the ability mod goes up by one. So like if we have fourteen, it gets to sixteen. It gets to fifteen. I guess one 15. point. One one okay, single okay. attribute point. Uh, all right then. Physical. Yep, physical. Uh, I guess I'll put it in Constitution. I'm putting mine in Constitution. It takes my Constitution to a plus two. Are you I'm done doing it? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Tristan. Done doing anything for me though. All my ability scores are even. Dang it. Oh well. Yeah, and here's the fun kicker: you all gain an inch of height. Oh yeah! Wait, okay. no. You, I was six you're... foot nine. <laughs> oh, you're six ten now. Sorry. Damn it! Hallie I'm is slowly climbing. Hallie is slowly climbing her way to the rest of her family site. Bye, bye. You all are I do, welcome. I do have a question. Um, when you gain another, uh, when you go up one, does that mean retroactively you get more? Yeah. HP? Yeah. HP. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. Nice. Did you just go um, to like eighteen con? Huh? No, 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 no. Remember, Hallie's strong and wise. She uh has now has fourteen constitute. Oh, yeah. Hallie has a sixteen strength. Hallie's strong. I mean, you've you've Bob, seen yes. you, you've seen the art. Yes, he will totally. Bob now has too. a twelve strength. You know what? Jesse's gonna put it into Dex. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put in Dex. Oh yeah, that's her main stat. Yeah, go for it. Bio oh, additional features plus one Dex. Wild magic. Okay. Right. Um. So, uh, actually, I I prefer if uh. Like, if Jesse could uh, slot this in, then Hallie can help out Kiri. You know, she uh, she knows uh, Milky's, and um, it, it's not really medicine what we're doing right here. Yeah, it's not medicine. Yeah, yeah All it, right. it's... Uh, and yeah, Jesse will try and place the gems as exactingly on these eyes as she can, and the gems sink in. Also, your timer has restarted. All right, and uh, Hallie... Yeah, Hallie will quote unquote milk Kiri and try to get the uh, um, enough holy water to s wipe or away the bleeding eyes. directly onto the eyes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, try to wipe let's away the bleeding. See here. Um. Hmm. Say, I need to ask a question of Save, and actually, I'm going to pause the timer. <laughs> Oh, this is a whisper. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. While that's going on, I will nope. bring out... Hold, 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 hold on, the timer's paused. Yeah, the timer is paused, so yes. no acting so, while we're yeah. don't, don't act, don't move okay. around. I was already trying to head for this door anyway, so I was like... Yep, yep. Yeah, I oh, you know, I will just describe this. Yeah, the, the door does not appear to be locked, but it does not open when you put on it. Okay. Well, I was gonna knock on it. Oh, you just knock. Excellent. The door opens. Per per perfect. So I'll uh, wait on that while you. But yes, oh, exactly. I, I was gonna say, yeah. Uh, uh, I will bring out Schwarzfeld. All right. My flying little badger familiar.
Okay, so as these eyes are placed up to the statue's face and sink into it and holy water is applied, each of you is compelled to give me a rhyme. Oh no. Oh fuck. Just like any kind of rhyme? Uh-huh. You get the sense that this you need to make a one sentence rhyme. And I'll give you a few moments to think of that before I restart the timer. So you get 10 hey, seconds I'm... of free time, because, you know, characters sometimes tend to be a bit quicker than players. I fear for this rhyme, I'm running out of time. Wipe them out. And the timer has begun again. I get mine. I'm good. Yep. Type it out. Oh, oh. Ah, well, everyone. Yes, everyone. Everyone is compelled to rhyme. Whatever it may be, I hope an exit I hopefully we'll see. I bet. <laughs> Keep saying it. What? I bit in the chat. The rhyme out. Oh. Uh, well, since I'm currently, uh, groping a heck one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Pets, you put yours. Has everyone got theirs in? I think so. I think. All right. I will quickly stop the timer as this uh, giant figure appears appeased. From his hands flows a what appears to be a fistful of dust or ashes. Dust or ashes? Yep. Huh. Falls from Ooh. his hand as though he'd been crushing something in his fist and then opened his hand up. Catching Obviously the hand. the hand hasn't moved, but some ashes fall. So, is that all the statues then? Did... Yep. Hold on, hold on. Did anything come from the uh, Mimic statue? All of the mouths closed, but nothing else happened with the Mimic statue. Yeah. Puzzling. It, it, is, the it is puzzling. It's a puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, each one of these things gave something. This guy gave a sword. This guy gave a big sword. This guy gave ashes. But the mimic gave nothing. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. What is going on with. Uh, The mouth that you put a gold coin into is closed. But the statue has yet to do anything else. Alright, is there still more open mouths I can put more coins in? Yeah, there are a bunch more. Uh, there appear to be six more mouths that are open. Yeah, I'll put- I'll spend the gold for that. Excellent, I'm glad that you finished doing it. Uh, and then it appears that an envelope falls out of this individual's hand and into your grasp. Alright. says on the inside on a piece of paper scribed perfectly in like what appears to be melted gold requisition vassal and Fauna, hmm. what you have swept up into your hands is pure residium give me a sec Nano machines. Just ten thousand GP of residium. Oh, hmm. 
Holy hell. Oh. That's a reagent right there. Oh. Oh, oh. wow. If you would like to put that on your party loot somewhere, that is the grave dust of the first slain vampire. Sure. Oh, we need to take that back to someone that can uh, make something of it for a like a velt killing Trace something. His mom. Yeah, Tris' mom. <laughs> That's a velt steak right there. If that's a fucking vamp neutralizer, if there ever was one. Yep. Could well be. And yeah, as you swept this up, it's not like there's a label on your own pouch, but you intuitively know it as such. No. And yeah, you get a piece of paper that said requisition a vassal. Uh, the timer is paused for a moment. I will be right back because I'm full of coffee and that needs okay. to be dealt with. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, what on here. earth does this mean? What, the requisition Fondo, that's vassal? That's pretty sick. I'm still confused. Yeah, requisition vassal. Uh, vassal I'm adding it means vassal. that you're going to get a mimic uh, companion or something because you have requisition vassal. So you might be able to make I... a mimic or something like that. Oh. Yes, I think oh. you can use it to claim someone as an underling. Oh. That is, is wow. specifically like requesting servant or something like that. But I, I, yeah, that is. You have to give that's it to someone. Gonna guess or many. I, I knew what both of those words meant. I just didn't think of it oh, like that. Thank I you. I bet you have to hand that in at the front desk. Or to the counselor here, maybe. Oh, maybe. Or to oh, the councilman, yeah. Councilman. I've well, been. Okay. If you're, you can re just request at the dungeon. I've been zoomed in and off to the left. Has Not anyone bad. gone to the counselor's rest? Nope. No, no, no one's gone, gone to counselor. Or. Uh, east yet. We've All not right. gone south well, either. We also haven't gone to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. oh, bedroom. So, uh, Bork and Moo go to the right, and then Tiana and someone else go north. I don't think any of us can go south other than Tiana. Yeah, and I'm kind of afraid too without permission. I mean, I don't, I don't, it says right I don't there, about... mimics only. You're a mimic. Go. Yeah, I don't yeah, know about. True, All right, but I don't really want to. Oh, okay, we're going. I don't really want to intrude. Go. You know, I want to get permission first. Hallie's going to knock and then try the doorknob. Yeah, the door opens up just fine. This door is still open from the first time Tiana knocked on it. Uh, Fauna, you yes. can see into this bedroom. It appears to be a really nice, richly appointed bedroom that belongs to some kind of wizard, judging by their large pointy hat. Do you... We'll walk in. Inside. Uh, okay, do you want us to go in turn so you're not trying to track <laughs> yeah, you three will, different yeah, parties? Yeah, 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 okay, so I'll pause the timer here. It makes sense that you will split up, you have a limited amount of time to do everything. That does mean, though, I, I will have to... Go with that one at a time? Yeah, yeah, I'll have, to use, I'll have to use up some time for one person's venture, pause, and then let someone else run for exactly that long. So yeah, it's a bit of fiddle for me, I do you didn't wanna... run that quite perfectly. Do you want to go left to right, then? Yes, we will start with uh, Ariel and Fauna. I'll rotate around. Uh... All right, timer is running. Ariel, Fauna, what day? Okay, so what's what's he in here in the room? Is it only like the chest and the bed and stuff? You can see exactly what you can see. Okay. I'll pick up the hat. All right, it appears to be a lovely, richly appointed hat. Does there look to be anything saying who might have this bedroom or something like that? Uh, not from just having... looking around the room, no. Okay. Uh... I will take, I will put the hat in my bag. Okay, cool. Yeah, you, uh, you can add one um, incredibly comfy wizard hat to your bag. This will be a great souvenir for Ronnie. Is the chest locked? Yep. Okay. That will um... be Jesse. Need, need Jesse for that. Is there a key in the cabinet here? Nope. I'll look under the bed. Alright, give me an investigate test. Oh boy. You don't find a key, you just find their porn, uh, porn stash. There might be a key in the hat. I mean, that would I was be funny. Wizard, that's where I'd keep my shit. <laughs> that seems a bit too obvious. Do you recommend that out loud? Yeah, I do. Porn rep. Pick the pick the hat back out of your bag again and check. That is exactly where the fucking key is. Oh, oh hey, I can do it. <laughs> All right, I'll toss the key to Ariel. She drunkenly like nearly drops it. 
Uh oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm the only sober one here. So that mimic was getting very irate. I thought it was going to attack us unless we did that. It was. And I will slot the key in and open the chest. All right. As you do it, that was actually perfect timing. The timer hit zero again. That said, everyone else gets their turn before we roll another wild magic. So. Bob, Taji, you walk into this room. All and right. you can smell what appears to be, or smells like, sorry, um, like soft lilacs, uh, warm, comforting, a little bit like it's on a pond. Here on the desk, you can see that there is a red crystalline structure upon which rests a necklace. Taji, this necklace calls to you. All right. As well in here, you can see that there is some kind of strange structure and a little gong. Oh, okay. Is is anyone here? What? No one answers. Anything? Anything on the books? Uh -huh. Well, I can, since like my sight is all over the place at the same time. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, your brain isn't there, so you can really only pay attention to yeah. one thing, even though you. Look at the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take a closer look at this necklace. Not pick it up, but take a closer look. Uh, it yeah. appears to be a crystalline pendant hanging on a silver chain. Inside the pendant is blood. Ooh. I will say this, though. I did mention before that I bring down Strutshaw to help me. Sure, sure. I'm just gonna go and pull more icons out. Um... As well, as you approach so. this pendant, Tayana, it begins to glow. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, at this point, I'm going to pick it up. All right. Yeah, you pick it up. It feels like it is made for you. I bet that's your way oh. into the Mimic's only room. Maybe. What does the book say? Uh, Let's see here. Give me an intelligence saving throw, please. Oh, oh saving throw. All right, so, you feel a wrenching pain in the back of your head, your eyes begin to bleed, and your nose begins to run with blood. Ugh. But you are not unduly super harmed, it just hurts like crazy. You take your constitution modifier in damage, ignoring temporary hit points. Okay, so... You're pretty sure that thing gave you a small aneurysm. Yeah, I bleed out of every eye. Uh, yeah, yeah, your whole robe just drips with it for a moment. Gross. All right, so uh, about Jesus the... Christ. As that happens... So I put the structure behind the gun. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yep. As that happens, next group. All right, you fear some too, so oh. the door swings open, no problem. All right, All right bl blonde squad, go. The fuck is this? That appears to be a table covered in, uh, looks like a large collection of Hands of Glory. Oh, gross. You go north, I go south. Roger. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's real. Yep. Uh, that, in fact, these internal doors are both already open, so I don't have a version that hides them being open. Alright. This looks like a bunch As of As you blood. enter this room here in the north, uh, like, soothing music begins to play as though from a harp. It immediately relaxes you. Oh, reminds me of Cass. All right, what these books all is? Uh, give me an intelligence saving throw. All right, I'm glad to say. Uh, let's see. I'm not blessed, but I do have a plus two to this. Whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> all right, Carrie. <laughs> you remember coming down the stairs? Also, your head. Hurts like absolutely crazy. Roll your remaining hit die. You take that much damage. I what? Oh wait, I do have one remaining hit die thanks to Bob. Hold on. Okay. All right, you take six damage. Do I hear anything or? No, you don't even yeah. notice. You're looking at this shit. Okay. Yeah, Kira, so... your head hurts, and you're just like, where did everyone go again? Moo. You appear to be in what appears to be a, like, transformed hookah lounge. Oh my god. 
I was about to say, if this was nerd shit, I'm the worst character here. But if it, this is like a relaxing hookah lounge, this is exactly where you want your moo. Yep. Um, it's supposed we'll to be a hookah out. lounge. There's a nice big cleaning basin, a number of just like scattered articles of clothing. It looks like someone's inspection, like spectacles, you know, the magnified uh, like viewing band. Uh, can I pick up the uh, spectacles? Sure. All right. I'm going to look them over and then I'm just going to uh, bounce it in my palm. Should probably bring this back to uh, Jesse. Uh, they don't look like your prescription, but sure. Uh oh, okay. These are uh, these are like inspection. yeah, they're re- they're they're they're, oh, okay, they're, they're okay. um they're glasses with one of those uh, uh uh very focal lenses. So the bottom is for reading and the top is for looking. Oh, okay, I couldn't think okay. of the word very focal, so I was like, "There's different magnification glasses." Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you that. meant I thought you meant like uh you know like that. Uh, GIF that Maddie used to. Oh yeah, use yeah, all the, the click, 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 click. Yeah, click. yeah, no, no, no nothing okay, like no that. Much. They're just very what about, what about here? Uh, there appears to be drinks. One is a large bottle of cognac. One appears to be a large bottle of whiskey, and one of them appears to be a large bottle of absinthe. All right, and what about this thingy? Uh, let's see here. That appears to just be a pleasant. Is that supposed to be a light stand? I think it's a light stand. It's just a nice light. Okay. Um. What about this broken thingy? Uh, it looks like someone was rebuilding a hurdy gurdy. Oh. Okay. Uh. This thingy. Uh, I assume that this right here is the hookah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That one's the big the big hookah setup. Yeah. And that right there. Uh, when you look in, it's just a vase that doesn't have flowers in it. Okay. Well, Gary, it just seems like the lap. Well, where'd you go? And stop, because now it's time for wild magic again. Who wants to do the 1,000 this time? Who picked me? Pick me. My turn. Oh, okay. You go. Okay. <laughs> All right, fans. Wow. Wow. Fucking dead ass oh. on the number. I need to pull out a book. It's a very, uh, it's very pleasing when you see that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh hi, oh hi, oh hi. Roll me a one, two, uh, d six. Two. Okay. <laughs> no way this could happen. Okay, so. One, two, three. Oh, oh no. Okay, all right. You gotta love it when you hear that. Oh no. All right, Uh, roll me a 1d40, somebody. Let's go for it. Still your shit. Okay. That's 1d40. Fine. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, everyone's eyes change color. Oh, oh no. God oh, damn it. Oh, they're odd colors. You each get fucking protagonist eyes. Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, so only Great one job. eye changes color? Yep, yep, you will get protagonist vision. Should we just roll on the hair color thing to see what we can Yeah, alright, go for it. Alright, so yeah, we, each, you each can make two three. rolls? No, uh, no you one. keep your original eye, one of them changes. Okay. Alright, well, time to make the quest to get back my original eye color. Oh, oh that's win. awesome, Tiana. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah. Holy Meta. shit. Also, yeah, look, that's a what rare hair guys... color you hadn't seen yet. Are you guys rolling this off of? Uh, it's a hair color thing on the... Rollable tables under macros. Oh, Fawners is super pretty. Did 
Wow, that's... Did Theory have red eyes? I think she might have. Is it like a gradient, or is it like... Yeah, it's like a gradient. Huh. That's pretty well, cool. That's gotta, pretty make a, gotta make a quest to get back my original eye color. Blue is just a straight up downgrade than my purple. I think blue is pretty okay, uh, baby. Blue is a very light. You got, wait, Hallie got a neon pink eye? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's, Bob's got a spooky black one. <laughs> Snake oh no, who hurt my little brother? How is it that you, the oh, no. bimbo, got a pink <laughs> eye? How? <laughs> the best part is she can go home for what she needs you. Oh no, my bimbo eye, it pulsates. It would only be more perfect <laughs> if, it, if it changed your pupil into a heart. Right? Uh, Alright, okay, as for you... Right. That's the other thing. Uh, You can choose. Yeah, I'm gonna roll a windy. All right. Well, so yeah, here in uh, in VCT, uh, your eye one, your right. your eye becomes that red color in there, Tachi. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's wonderful. The red color. Yep, the darker red color. All right. Cool. That's not too much different than her uh, her uh, gold already. Yep. And yeah, like, honestly, yeah, this is something I... that you could probably get, like, a magical eye drops to fix. Like, somehow yeah. this does oh, this undoubtedly changed people's Sorry, eye colors. Didn't mean to move. Yeah, that's fine. I'm like, uh, just gonna leave this. This is pretty rad. Alright. Your timer starts again. Top left team! I'm going to lift oh, the bed. Going. I will move. I'm going to lift the mattress up. E sure. E yeah. You find pornography. Oop. Excuse so... me. What's in the chest? All right, inside the chest is more pornography. Wait, this is a five platinum judgment. bars. Each of them is worth fifty platinum. Ooh, pieces. Whoa. Oh, whoa! Oh, lordy, that's a good find. Wait, this is a mimic dungeon. What does a mimic pornography look like? That's actually a good question. What does it look like? <laughs> they, all look like they all look like that, that sexy mimic girl do dojin of the maid. Oh, fair. Okay. Alright. Okay. One Thanks subscription both. to the Aeon and Cheese Club. You don't know what that is. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Was that something that was previously established? No. Yes. It is now, I guess. <laughs> what, the Eon and Cheese Club? No, I've just invented the Cheese Club. Okay, I'm making sure that wasn't a running joke or something that I forgot about. And one twenty percent off coupon for reagents. It functions in any Fey pathway. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. Does it stipulate it's only for one purchase, or is it a whole? Is it a purchase or one, one shopping basket? It's one shopping basket. Oh, that's okay. actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, if you that save up be... enough, you can buy a bunch of reagents in bulk at twenty percent off. That could be really good for when we need to get like some super reagent for the Heart of Justice. All right, timer resumes. What else you do? I think we picked this room over pretty much. Have we looked in the closet yet? I did look in the closet, yeah. Okay. Uh, there were just some simple wizard ropes. Then I will lift up the the carpet. Okay, when you lift up the carpet, you find that it's nice and clean. Huh. They do their cleaning well, I guess. They don't just sweep everything under the rug. Yep. Indeed. Uh, I think it takes care of everything in here. Let's go back to the others, I suppose. Yeah. Back in the convent, you would get a spanking if you just brushed all the dust under the rugs. Oh, Jesse! There you are. Uh, yeah. How'd your luck search go? My what? Never mind. And top crowd. Right. I don't want to look at this Fuck. structure oh, in the god. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, your eyes. Oh, so many eyes. Oh, yeah, it was eye-centric the moment you start bleeding out of all of yours, too. Wow. Yeah. Okay, don't read books. Is it even one of Bob's yeah, eye? Yeah. Is it even one of Bob's face eyes that changes? Yeah, yeah, it's Bob's face eye. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck me sideways. It'd be okay, really spooky 
it'd be really spooky if that changed eye can't just is always that color no matter how much alter per, alter self you do that would be really spooky it yeah. would be super spooky it's just like a static thing that can never be changed yeah all right oh, is there anything else that. you do um, in this room uh behind that appears yeah, to be a lit be... Uh, that's a lit candlestick that's a lit candlestick okay well yeah. the gong i'm gonna i think i'm gonna ring the gong all right you ring the gong Everyone hears a gong ring. Cool. I checked the desk. It's probably when they find the pornography. <laughs> uh, okay, when you check <laughs> inside the desk, uh, you mean investigate test? Yeah. Yes, assist me by battery friend. Sure. Okay, excellent. Uh, before you touch up against it, you can see that there is very clearly some kind of hard or lock on this with terrifying magic on it. Uh, you're pretty sure that that lock, uh, the effects that might be upon that lock are somewhat reminiscent of the phrase Orb of Annihilation. Okay, not touching that shit. Sweet okay! Nope. Yeah. What about this knife? This knife looks more interesting than the Orb of Annihilation lock desk. That's uh, a knife to, of annihilation. To, <laughs> knife of annihilation. No, it appears to be a letter opener. That's a, that it's Orb made of made of solid silver. The Orb of Annihilation is just, it's just his garbage bin. No, it's a padlock on, a, on his uh, desk. A padlock is an Orb of Annihilation? Yep. It has a trap on it, which is like... You mess with it, you don't have the key, you're gone. Yep. Don't exist. Yep. That's, that's it. <laughs> and if you'd oh, completely fucked terrifying. the investigation, that could have been real bad for you. Okay, so what about the this uh, thing? On... Uh, okay. That appears to be one of the things you saw in the library before. Uh, maps the celestial points is... of everything. That's just an right. unlit candelabra. Right. But wait, no, that's just... um. That's another one of those uh, dream sphere things, but hasn't been built all the way up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna not touch. Them. Just because the other one was would be was pretty insistent on not touching. So. Yeah, the rest of these just appear to be knickknacks. Okay, okay I got a letter opener at least. Yeah, it's solid silver. All right. Yeah, I got the. Th I got the. Th the necklace. Cool. It right. just comes out and like all the it just looks at everyone. It just blots out of all the fucking eyes on the robes. Yeah, face. you guys like, see you. Yeah, you guys oh. see a fucking blood drenched Bob. Wow, what happened to you? Don't read the books. Okay. Understood. Not, the, not in there. Oh, maybe that's that one happened, book in maybe. particular. My head fucking hurts. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hallie. Sorry, it is still technically your turn. Uh, it is that side done? Uh, middle, yeah. middle crew done? Wait. Hey, Kiri! Wow, you're fast! How'd you get through that? Oh, I think I read a book. I, just... I really shouldn't have. Hold on, let me... Uh... Let me come back. I guess I must have been paired with you. I don't remember. Don't read the books. Uh, okay. I'm gonna look under this chair. I want to understand anything here, anyways. Uh, yeah, give me an investigate test. Oh no! Give me a lift of the How chair. I help? Yeah, sure. You fucking who needs help? You just raw dog a nineteen. You raw oh, dog. 18. Oh no, I guess it is a nineteen still. With help. yeah, you got help. Uh, okay then, uh, you little drunkard. You find what appears to be a watering can made of crystals. Huh. Is there uh, any water near here? Or have we seen any? Nope. Well, guess I'm feeling this the hard way. Oh, the place to the south is just the... I think it's the booze and sex room. Hmm, I see. Well, in that What's case... What's this thing? The glowing thing. 
but I, I realized my token's in, in the way. Yeah. Uh, that appears to be writing. Give me an intelligence save. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I just want to... <laughs> it's dangerous to look at things. It's dangerous to look at writing. Oh, there's a base. Unfortunately, that is a scroll that's being lit by a gem lantern. Uh-oh. Okay. Ow! Roll one of your hit dice. This comes off of your health. Okay. Gonna go. Howley just blurfs over here. Read a book, even though you were told not to. No! I I literally... I didn't know what it was, because to my eye, it looked like a piece of parchment with, like, residium stuff on it. Oh, yeah, I see it now on the map, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna... Uh, it, is a, it is a scroll that is being lit by a gem lantern, sorry. I'm gonna uh, run it, over it... and fill this bit... the can with yep. this basin. Yeah, the basin runs with crisp, you can crisp cool water to get turned on. And your timer begins again. Yeah, in my defense, if you look at it on the map, it doesn't look like writing. Yeah, that's fine. No, no, no. The lighting is the writing is being obscured by the blue glowies, but it's fine. It. I thought it could be some, uh, uh basically magical cocaine. I'm going save and do your thing. I, I was waiting for you guys to shut the fuck up. All right. Mm-hmm. I fill my basin with water. Uh, are there any hookahs in here that are actually like intact? Because it looks like some of them are like yeah, broken. that's a hookah right there. All right, let's fill this bad boy up. <laughs> sure, you pour it from the uh, crystalline yeah uh, watering can and top this hookah up. And now it is time to hookah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm already drunk. Can't get any worse. It's, yeah, fair. All right, con save. All right. Uh, add plus two to this. Oh, 25. Nice. Although your insides feel tickly, you somehow do not cough at all. The world has a nice, a nice colorful haze, like a, it gets a little bit more um, uh, technicolor, but otherwise you're fine. Nice. <laughs> it's delicious, though. It tastes like uh, ginger snap cookies. Interesting. Ah, all right. Well, oh, is there is that actually a chest up here? By the way, nah. Oh, okay. Is there is there anything else in either of these rooms that we haven't examined that is of interest? I guess. I don't think so. Although, if you're interested, there is alcohol on the table. One uh, whiskey, one cognac, one absinthe. I am gonna scoop those into my bag. Sweet. Oh, that's fucking here. All right, and rejoin the party. Okay. No. Uh, best bet, Tayana, go for that mimic door down there. That's the only place we haven't been checked yet. All right. Hey, okay. I'm gonna knock first. Yeah, you knock. Uh, the pendant that glows softly around your neck glows brighter, and the door opens. All right. I'm just gonna close the door behind me. Good idea. All right. Yeah. And I will pause the timer while I describe what is ahead of you. What appears to be a gigantic crystalline bush. It is surrounded by gems of different color, each one embedded into a pedestal that has been fed by a series of what appear to be metal pipes and gates. From each of them lies a portal. Each one has been marked the plane of fire, the plane of earth, the plane of air, and the plane of water. Wow. Okay. So what's... Is there a label on the center crystal, or...? Uh, give me an arcana test. Sounds alright. Unfortunately, yeah. you're disadvantaged uh you are unsure mm. well i don't really want to mess with anything really but i guess i could can i get i can I make an investigation see if there's anything sure a four. Uh, 
Yeah, I know. You can't find anything of use. Or if you are looking at things, they appear to be beyond your comprehension. Yeah, pretty clearly. I just covered my mouth there. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, question there, since you, since uh, Teon can see this. Uh, those colored orbs on the base of it, do they look like there's places for wood to go into? Hmm, 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 hmm. might be. Uh, and I was wrong. Uh, One of them was white, not black. Oh, well, happens. Oh, okay. And green, not purple. Right. Oh, my memory is terrible. Damn, okay. Oh, well. Yeah. Yes, you are, Thanks, cor you are in fact not correct. A yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just going to grab my little, my little blotter and be like, no, this one's actually uh, black, and uh, this one over <laughs> here is... Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Well, I'll be able to. I'll come. Well, I'll pop back out then, since I don't really understand yeah. much there, but I'll relay what I saw, and then Ariel can make that assumption. We will pile you your arms back with wood. Check. Yep. Here's, Here's the wood. Then. Put them in Drunk. the right color well, slots. Drunk brain Ariel turns out to be a big brain. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, I'm going to... I'm a drunk seven. Flat Don't worry. Wood around. Yeah, sure. You can slot each, like, wooden okay. slat. The most solid of all of them appears to be of, like, this... I was thinking that. Yep. Uh, each one appears to be of the same, like, width and angle perfectly, and you can slide them in. And you hear a soft chirping noise. We would recognize it as, like, an RFID. <laughs> Each time you do it. Obviously, this magic is chirping at you as you go around the ring. And as you do so... Let's see here. I need to grab right there. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 da, da. Uh, that's assuming he can go in there, Bob. It, it is it's the mimics. Only, yeah. yeah, might just explode as soon as she crosses the threshold. And it's the only is in like yeah, big gonna... bold letters too. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. No one's coming in with me, Bob. Yeah. You hear a humming noise that travels throughout the room, and the party outside can hear this humming noise coming from this pillar right here. I kept realizing that I was in the uh, GM layer for and failing to ping correctly. What? Uh oh, can I move? Sure. Because I'm uh, kind of standing on the pillar right now. Yeah. As a doorway, a portal appears. Tachi, you of course oh. don't see this because you're in this other room where the door's closed. <laughs> but you do hear a humming. I At the same so time, each of these gates appears to activate. I assume oh. we're in a cutscene now. I won't move. Within which you can see what appears to be a realm made entirely out of swirling clouds, like crystalline palaces. The smell of ozone is rich and powerful. Over here, you can see obsidian and charcoal make up the majority of this plain realms of fire with, uh, I guess, like the, the classic fire atronach looking elementals wandering around, like some kind of society. Over here is a, a beautiful forest, except it appears to be made entirely out of jagged thorns and rocks. You can see magnificent towering structures, each one just daring the concept of gravity on a tower of stone. And over here, a beautiful, endless ocean. Uh, I'm just thinking the, the game Endless Ocean now, but... Uh, Western Ra. Haley Weston Ron, that's it. Time starts again. Okay. Boop. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Can I peer around the corner? Okay, so I'll pop out of the room. Sure. As you leave the room, you can see that there is a glowing portal here, and at the portal, you can see... Uh, I will quickly pause and double-check on the main map. Uh, what appears to be... King seat. Does? Yep. It looks like a busy okay. street on the noble quarter in King seat. 
which is odd because uh, portals never go to King's Seat. Correct. That's weird. Uh, yeah, it, it appears it appears to be some like you recognize the street as being one on the noble quarter. Okay. So before before we send further into that portal, uh, I have a question for how this stuff was described. Does it look like these? arms are taking like energy from the plane or interacting with them in any fashion they look like they are like i mean not that you could see it taji was the only one in there and she closed the door behind her quite smart yeah that was, she um, would go insane if you looked yeah. inside no, that's how uh, ask taji, but though. to her it looks like they were um like foci for opening these yeah. various planes like a uh, a piece okay. of fire from the plane of fire a lump of crystal okay. from the plane of crystal. So yeah, they, they were the they were the gate. Yeah, they were keeping so the, the gates open. Yeah, so they make this, the gates this crystalline. Fired. Yeah, this crystalline flower here appeared. I guess I will say from the outside, it is some kind of power source. Right. So that so it feeds it to make the gate rather than it trying to like take energy from the plane and feed it into the crystal. Correct. It's the other way around. It appears to be a way to travel between the two of them. Uh, and there were okay. two ways to solve it. The other was with the crystalline watering pot that you've got uh you could go and water the plant and it would put enough juice in to activate the gates for a temporary amount of time <laughs> okay okay i uh, forgot about that yep crystal plant crystal watering can and then you immediately just went for the five head i'm sorry i i have moments where i'm actually actually smart i, I promise they don't happen often how about we get out of here before we tell uh, we get transformed again? Uh, get out of here to where? To King Street? We still have to meet the so... Mimic oh. Council. Don't There's think there is a Mimic here. Counselor anymore. Did we get transformed? You look around we and did. see everyone's yes. eyes are a different color. And we're probably about to be again here in a moment. Huh. What about... Know. What about... Upstate. What about outside? Pause. Who wants to roll the next D thousand? <laughs> I knew it was coming. I said here in a minute. <laughs> I, I tried to rush you, and I was watching the uh, timer count down. You're like, it's probably about to happen again. Like, yes, it's about to happen again. <laughs> All right, <laughs> then go for Stray. it, Dina. or Trey, whoever wants you. Why? Why are you yelling at me? It's not my fault. You're the one who's like, we got transformed and. <laughs> yeah, held up the, the, conversation. <laughs> the conversation. It was great. All right, four thirty-four. All right, same realm again. Give me a d six. Two, same zone again. Really? Okay. It's almost kind of boring. Sounds like you want to reroll. This is kind of boring. Um, up to you. Do you want me to pull out of the same area again, or would you like to try out of a different section? And I like I going like... where the dice land. I yeah. kind of want to okay. see a different we'll section. No. We'll go with, go with the dice. Okay. Uh, D40. Okay. All of you get a second heart. Oh, uh, that's have two hearts. Actually, really good. I guess I'll give you advantage on death saves. Sweet. Rad. Okay. Yeah, you will grow second heart. Okay. Every single one of you like doubles over, clutching your chest in pain. The world becomes like blotted like a field of black darkness and pinpricks of light begin to feed into it each of you feels like oh this is it we're all dead this is the heart attack we fucking questioned it until just your whole chest feels fuller if anything and your when your heart is pounding in your ears you recognize it as a double beat okay i'm we'll out of here out i don't like now okay out of that i'm out go oh god okay i hope you're okay upstairs tiara Okay. Um, guess we're going to the portal. Yep. Yeah, there's I'm staying around to see if I get like a third fucking heart. That's not good for me. Yeah. 
I feel like we're missing something here. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Come on, there's, uh, this is definitely not the end of the dungeon. Portals don't go to King's Seat. Mimic portals, mine. Fine, all right, I'll trust you. Carrie yep. will. Carrie so, will be the last one. I think I picked up. Okay, so. The party reappears in King's Seat. Everyone except for Tiana. Oh, okay. that's bad for Teon. Oh, wait, no, Teana. Is it? Is I thought it? you said. I thought. I thought it was Tiara for a moment. I mean, yes, Tiara is watching over this dungeon worriedly. She's <laughs> oh no! All the way down here. Okay. The okay. Bus. I can. I can. My I can, bus. I can do ascending. <laughs> okay. So hold up. No, at least she's not alone. Yep. Hold up, Tiana. You okay. are stood in a. Black expanse of nothingness. Uh -oh. However, there is a table, and at this table you can see that there are a number of large, ornate treasure chests. The prettiest, largest treasure chests you've ever seen. Each of them is sat on an like, armchair, as though they were people. You can't see legs or arms, but you get the sensation that each of these chests is posed regally. Alright. Hello? Hmm? Welcome! Oh, how long it has been since we've had a new vassal! Oh. Oh, I'm the vassal. Okay. I believe so. You've got the legacy. You've, you've got the entry point. Or you've even got a visa. Yeah, I picked one up at the dungeon. At the dungeon. Uh, where have you come through, strange half-mimic? Uh, seeing as how we're, I guess I'll say the, the Bimic dungeon in the Western Chivalrics of Saris. Ah, uh, Saris. I have to specify Saris. Yes, yes, we have a, a Cerisian holdout there. Dismantled ocularia, I think. How strange, I did not know that you were connected to the Outer Plains. But, uh, well, welcome. I... We are the Guardians of the Wall Beyond. Cool. And these secrets, they belong to no man or God. Okay? Brad. If anyone should threaten the wall beyond, they get one warning. Okay. I'll try not to threaten the wall, wall beyond. Oh no, you could possibly, it's fine. In fact, you oh. are about to acquire the true knowledge. I hope you're mentally right. prepared for this. This could be incredibly stressful for some vassals. We've seen them go insane before. I'm a little drunk right now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that should, that should annoy you perfectly. Come, Perfect. take a seat. And you can see, like, one of those child's kitty stools just sort of morphs out of the black expanse at the table. You have to climb up into it, clamber, scramble, clamber. Okay. You get a bib and a fistful of gold. Yay. <laughs> oh, is it like seven gold? The yeah, this is just, it's just uh, you it's, know, a it's, a, it's a fistful of it's a fistful of gold. So oh, okay. Yeah, like eight gold pieces, delicious. You don't eat Came out gold one of... one gold piece richer than I went in. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You don't eat gold, but, you know, if it's nice, you can tuck it away for later. Uh, but I am about to whisper you something. And now, out of character, I will say... The choice of whether to share this with the rest of the players, out of character, is yours. You may right. not, may not share this with the players in game with your companions if you All share right. this knowledge with them they might well lose their character sheets then and there i will now give you this secret information that's ominous
<laughs> it's incredible. Thank you. All right. I have no idea what to do with this information, but I have it now. Yep. One second and I will give you more. Okay. Uh, as it applies to you in character. That's what I... Did we just get dumped out into, like, the street? Yes. Yep. And there's no visible way back through. Correct. Oh, no, no, uh, you are outside an inn. Oh, an inn. Yep. Oh, did we fall out of the? Did we, like, fall out of the doorway? Yep. And is considering the you'll smell of hookah and, and booze. Or is the inn a mimic? Uh, hard to say. I ask the inn if it's a mimic. It doesn't tell you if it's a mimic. Uh, rude. Well, what were you trying to say there before Sam was asking if the inn was a mimic? Because you kind yeah. of cut off. You, you tumbled out and you all smell of alcohol and hookah. I was going to say, I would look inside the building. It looks like the inn. In fact, this is a nice one. Trist went here for a while. Oh, that inn. Yeah, it's really lovely. I mean, the inside looks normal. So we're going to have to take a riverboat to the hair hold and teleport to the dragon hold to link up with her again. Unless one of you has a teleportation scroll. That wouldn't. No, I mean, that would get us two. That would get you to the, the holds. Hold. Yeah, I know. That's what, is, what I was saying. Yeah, we need to get back to the dragon hold. Alternatively, it's not that much further if we just reverse the route you were going to take. But then we leave Tiara alone for quite some An time. An extra three days. Three or four days. Man. I, uh, the route you have us going back through goes. Through uh, Beast, uh, Battleground, Land Stuff, and here. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's only a couple extra days, all right. but it also does all the things we were going to do. It's going to take more than a couple days to do all those three of those things. No, they'll each take one day each. A minute later, Tiana oh. is going to tumble out of the indoor as well. Like, you see the door open, and you're sure you just saw her finish like drinking at a table. That must have been the case. Each of you gets a weird deja vu feeling. You know exactly what you've all been through. But it definitely looks like Tiana just got up from a chair and walked over and then tumbled out of the door because she's a little bit buzzed. Uh, Tiana, you are already attuned to this item. Is it, is it a... I you told also... you have in your arms a stack of books for two libraries oh, for two libraries <laughs> a stack please of books return them to ocularity 3 a stack of books about matters magical and miscellaneous stunningly overdue with these books in your possession you have expertise on all arcana or history texts uh it doesn't mean to be tests Whoa. It does not require attunement it has a secret if found return to ocularity 3 Okay. Yeah, Scow let me in on that, uh, the council's legacy, in case uh, I wasn't able to uh, be a part of the session. And I told you, Winter, you were really gonna like <laughs> you were really gonna like this. That stuff. is a really good store. item. Yep. You have become perfectly round <laughs> without a single flaw. That is a really, really good item. You cannot have a negative ability score anymore. No. So, it will probably take you, you know, multiple months to get your tributes how you want them, because once an attribute changes, you can't change it again. For a okay. So, right now, uh, oh yeah, your ASIs are applied afterwards. Oh no, they go into your pool, that's correct. Okay. Congratulations. Okay, so double check how many 
ASIs you've gotten, and I guess your, what was it, one extra charisma or, or wisdom or whatever it was? I forgot what you even got out of that. Card. So you, the, the you got new one? like... Oh, you, so got you, got... A, you got a new one into your con, yeah. Uh, and also the one you got from the Deck of Many Things card. Yeah, you got one from the, the Deck of Many Things. Was, but it was a full ASI of like two points, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's why you wanted to keep track. Uh-huh. Cool. Okay, so yeah. And currently my uh, other thing set, sets it to sets, sets my wisdom to 16. I don't know how that affects this. Uh, what's got your... Um... The Six. choker. Okay. The maid choker. That's right. You have the maid choker on. Uh, I don't think that functions anymore. All right, I will be attuned to that now that I know this. No, he did not get a full ASI, Bob. No, he got it, it, one okay. one score. If I... Hey, Ariel, you wanted this, right? What does the Mage Joker do? Let's find out here. Yep. Uh, and yeah, anyone can read these overdue library books, by the way. Um, where's his Mage Joker at? Ah, here's Joker, the extra planar maid. Yes. It did give me a bon a bonus mage hand and a bonus and a prestidigitation that I think I'm gonna have to put back instead of shock and grasp now. Or I can just leave shock and grasp. See, uh, I make decisions now. As good as it would be, I'm full up on attunement slots. Okay, well we'll keep it around anyway. I mean, I, I could probably de-attune to the Lily's heart now, because I have a second heart that grants me advantage on death saves. It's weird how we're just shuffling these around now. Yeah. Uh, you can just instead wear it. It is your wedding ring. <laughs> yeah, it is my wedding ring. I mean, I'm, I wasn't ever planning on taking it off. I'll think about it. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, uh, getting a level 3 bless is pretty fucking juicy. Yeah, level 3 bless for no concentration is pretty fucking juicy. So yeah, you're all currently in King Seat, apart from Tiara and all of the mounts. I'll, I'll do a heck in sending. Yeah. They're like, what? The, what? What do you mean? Um, well, I'll send a hacking sending yeah, yeah. after we decide our route. Sure, 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 sure. That way we I don't give them wrong directions. Oh, Kerry, that's mean. You're going to give for fucking Tiara a heart attack if your mount suddenly disappears. What do you think she's going to assume happened to you? I I thought sending it gone. Oh, man, Tiara's with all our mounts, too. Oh, okay. Also, they are now Sir Peaches the 43rd. Oh. Uh, so, I will just quickly change. Do we want to go boop, 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 or Kane, boop, 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 I vote we do the I... thing that does all of our objectives instead of just wasting time. Okay. But then we're leaving, but then we're moving way slower because we don't have mounts and everything. We don't ha we won't have our mounts until we get here either. Gonna, and to we're gonna be have fair, to go one, two, three, four, and we'll and... be lacking a companion. Oh well. Well, one of... another one. <laughs> well, one of them can fly, and Hallie's companion can easily meet her because she's just going to go into you know the ethereal plane. The only okay. thing we'd be missing. Uh, did we leave our cart there too? Yes. 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 We left all our, our belongings and all of our. You know, stuff. All of your belongings, all of your food. Yeah. Again, well, your it's food. just a question of do we want to take a boat ride and then go straight there, or do we want to immediately teleport and then take a slightly longer land route? It's basically the same number of days either way. I do have a question. 
do we have uh, access to people who know the teleport spell and we can just pay them to teleport us there? Or do we have to teleport from hold to hold? We Hold to hold. I hold to hold. Yeah, nobody mean... has access to the actual full teleport spell because that's 7th level. Okay. Uh, well, I would not... Uh, Actually, yeah, you could um, get to the dragon hold and then ask Trist and uh, come knocking at the door and be like, "Can you teleport us?" I I guess that's true. Actually, we we could go to the dragon hold and then get Trist's mom to teleport. Where though? Because there's not a teleport circle. No, no, around she there. knows no, no, actual she's... teleport. Yeah, she has the the oh, teleports. Oh. Remember, she's an arc mage. She has like ninth level spells. Right. So, so yeah, th- that's a pretty good idea. That, that that is a good idea. Yes. Yeah. So we can ask. Uh, I'll just send uh, do the sending. Uh, tell them to circle the wagons. Tell uh, Mona to eat anyone that tries to fuck with them, and then get teleported by your mom. Yeah. Oh, one thing we can do while we're in here is uh, cash in on the bounty. That's, That's true. true. Yeah. True. Actually, yeah, you would have been going without a cash in for ages. I think we got two bounties, even, I think, right? No, we only have one. Fives. I thought we did. Some... We got cash. You got paid the, out the last one. one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Did we? Okay. Yeah. All right, did somebody have the platinum bars to the party loot, by the way? Yeah, I did. Okay. This, the secret is amazing. It makes Tiana feel a little bit better. Yeah, Tiara is pre- uh, the, Tiana is practically fucking glowing in herself. And yeah, do you want to okay. tell your players what it was? You can also keep this to yourself. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave this to myself for a while. Excellent. You'll never know, but that journey was so worth it. And you have, in fact, actually cleared that place out. Yay. I, I am so glad we did this. This is all worth it. I, I mean, every single thing we rolled on the uh, random magic table actually ended up being either beneficial or funny, or just non-consequential. Yeah. yeah. Eye color doesn't matter exactly. too much. Oh, speaking of, uh, how much to get like some eye drops to revert the blue eye to my purple? Since we're in Kingsley, I might as well get like them. 25 gold. You're in the noble quarter. There's probably someone who just sells cosmetics. Yeah. I will gladly spend 25 gold to get my eye color back. Well, if you guys are going to want to, you know, get the. I think I've been to the Fire Sphere clothes. God damn. If you want to go get someone wants to go get the do the bounty, I'm going to go to the library and go give the souvenir to Ronnie. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing for you. You can just hand that over real quick. I guess so. Yeah, it's like early evening, so the shops are still open for like another hour or two, and the bounty place is open all the time. It's just a shack basically there, they hand over money. Uh, let's see here. How much was that bounty worth? Bounty board. Heard of Samalay lizards. He hands over 500 gold. Woo! Okay. Guess they were not too high up on the deadly list, were they? Nope. Technically, they had a really easy to kill gimmick. Each get 83 GP and 3 SP. Yep. Technically, if you'd, uh, you know, taken out all of his CR much lower companions and then killed the beast, it would have been a lower difficulty fight than you faced. Oh, yeah. Yep, we should identify fair. that uh, Greatsword Fawner got. Oh, shit. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Greatsword the ba- and the, the, uh, the Stone Sword there, yeah. The stone greatsword appears to just be a stone greatsword that is a greatsword plus one. Uh, it looks mm-hmm. an awful lot like... In fact, Kira, you've probably seen it on a mantelpiece down in um, Hornwatch. It looks exactly like that sword, uh, except it's made of solid stone. Uh, 
Uh, as for the other blade. Miranda's out adventuring with uh, Belle. Oh, right, right. Okay. Oh, I know. I saw. This is the False Avenger. It requires attunement by a good creature. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. When you hit a draconic creature with it, that creature takes an extra 2d6 radiant damage. While you hold the drawn sword, it creates an aura 30 that makes you and your companions immune to the terrifying presence dragon ability. Yeah, oh, when, we when we eventually have to cut down, uh, you know, the king. Well, apparently, the king is a, and... apparently the king is actually just a weakling. Well, it says draconic creature, that also includes Val because he's dragon blooded. Yeah, yeah. He may well be draconic undead. And it's radiant, so it's nasty. Yeah, congratulations. You have a, um, kind of a, a a fake stone version of the um, Sword of Vengeance. Very appropriate for our uh, angry barbar. I guess. Hey, uh, you know, maybe you can fuse it with the one you already have. Huh. You could try and move the liquid metal onto the False Avenger so it looks metal instead of stone, yeah? Mm. But the Claymore the is... The Claymore is your consecrated is weapon. It is, yeah, no, it I is can't marker, do that. It is, yeah, it is, it is your consecrated weapon. Is. Yeah. Now you just have a False Avenger for if you have to fight dragons if you want to. Or you can just have a great sword for oh. fighting regular stuff that you don't have to use your other great sword for. Mm. Or a uh, bastard sword, I mean. Whatever. You know what I mean. Also, it occurs so. to me we got a we got a reagent that'll probably help us defeat Velt, and we got a we got a sword that might be able to kill the king. All right, Jess is gonna quirk her brow under her mask before finally going. I would love to, but I am so tired after all that. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted, and I'm dripping, and I smell funny. Just well, that's what's supposed to happen afterwards, like so... I guess. In that case, how about we just get a nice bath and go cuddle? Well, that's where it's my arm. Okay. <laughs> well, anybody got prestidigitation, I'm... Prestidigitation is no replacement for a nice long bath. Yeah, it, I'm, it I'm emotionally sense. messed. That said, though, yeah, you do look like a nightmare horror story. Yeah, that's the point. Not it, the it, point, but that's the cleaning point. It makes you clean, but, you know. Yeah, you should probably cast that on Bob, though, because Bob is covered head to toe in his own blood. Yes, I will drop a couple gold on a nice hotel room. Ooh. Cleaning probably would be a good idea first. Yep. Uh, Ronnie will be incredibly excited to see. You. Oh my gosh! Hi, I didn't know you'd be back so soon. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't expect to be back so be... soon. Her apartment is way nicer than you remember. She actually has an apartment instead of being in student dorms. Oh wow. Hallie gave her a ton of money. Someone yeah, she's been, she's been paid pretty pretty well by you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm doing pretty good. Still, like, being completely crushed by studies. I have a thesis uh, I'm sort of oh, working nice. on. But oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm unconvinced of how it's gonna turn out. It's a weird part of the scientific method. I've got a bunch of um, experiments resting in a sealed room at the moment that I have to check in on in a month. Oh, I'm sure it'll go great. Ah, oh, thank you. Even if I, I've, even if nothing happens, that means I disprove a theory. So that's the good thing. I have total faith in you. Oh, I brought you a souvenir from the thing that just happened. That which is why we're here. Right. We kind of fell through a hole while we went into a into a doorway, and then we were just here. It was crazy. Yeah. When you try to describe the events of the mimic dungeon itself, your tongue gets like completely tied. Uh, um, hmm. 
Oh. As though you okay. can't really figure out how best to describe everything you got up to. Uh, it's uh, kind of like in uh, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Noro when uh, they just put us the the fairy put a spell on you, so whenever you try to describe it, it comes out in just like weird jargon and stories. Yeah, yeah uh, basically, when you you know when you're struggling to find a word or struggling to to describe something you've seen, that just becomes your entire brain and tongue when you try to describe the mimic dungeon. Even though you know in your head that it's fine, you can't figure out a way to word it, and it just keeps getting stuck. We've all been until it, and, yeah until it's like the endless you had to beat that story. We've all been slapped with a gesh. Mayhap. Apart from Taji, she could if she wanted to, but she also knows better. Because she'd kill every single one of us. So, yeah, how, would... Tiana, how are you doing? <laughs> now that you're, you're. Well, she's comforted in this new say... knowledge, that's for sure. Yeah. But she's just think. Th thinking about her uh, new uh, council's legacy. Yeah. She's mulling it over, and I'm still a a adjusting a character sheet. And... Uh, you would not be able to, Ariel, no. Is that magic? No, it's just incredibly comfortable. It's perfectly made. Fits nicely. Oh. Looks like it hasn't decayed at all. It's like, you know, master crafted a hat and it's silk and it hasn't fallen apart. Or it's like a silk lining and lots of Egyptian cotton. It's very comfy. Does it have little slits for uh, bunny ears? Uh, no, but she's also flopsy, so it's okay. Uh, okay, makes sense. So just to be clear, I, I would apply uh, these uh, stats and then my ASIs? Uh, all of your ASIs just go into the pool, so you can, I guess, technically just cram them all into con at the start, and just th then distribute from there. So figure out how many extra numbers you've got, and then add them to the pool. Which is, which is seven. I'm just wondering about these uh, stats I have right here on this sheet, the Council's Legacy... Uh... My oh, those are an example. Story. Oh, those are an example. Okay. Yeah, the 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 ones below there for like for example, I take three points out of strength and add them to con. Like I'm saying, you can change gotcha. one thing at a gotcha. time. So, say you started at the fourteen and you took points away from it, put it in something else. You can't touch either of those stats again for a month. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to start with charisma and go from there. Sounds good. Yeah, I guess you could dump. You could start with all seven of your extra points just in charisma, so it starts at twenty-one, and you can flex on everybody. <laughs> and then everything else yeah. is a fourteen, fourteen that you've got to move around. Yeah. So I mean, how? What's, by, what's the action economy on changing stats? Just do them right now. I I recommend just going to twenty because twenty-one serves you no purpose. Well, yeah. Just to start with. Yep. But yeah, you you know what this item's secret is. is the secret I told you, and you also now know why using legend lore on it would kill the person who did so. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah, and you can see into the uh, uh, ethereal. Hooray! Just like Bob. Yay! Oh, Ronnie would love a sleepover. She has a great big bed. It's snuggly time. Ah, oh, yay! She's gonna make a big yay. basket of poppycorn. Ooh, best sister ever. Heck yeah! And yeah, you guys can have a slumber party. <laughs> Unfortunately, you, like all of your spare clothing and stuff is all back with the the carts and, and steeds, so you have to borrow underwear. Unfortunately, it's all Rani-sized. Oh. This is not happening. No. You might just have to go commando for a day or more. Not while you sleep with your sister. That's weird. 
Yeah. Go buy your own pants. Yeah, can literally... yeah Ronnie oh, might, might like stop have... out and grab and go buy you some pants. I might have. Yeah. Honestly, ha have, having like it's... spare clothing at your house for your siblings is not the worst idea in general if they ever it's have to crash. Especially because it feels like I grew a little bit. Oh yeah, you did yeah. get taller. To be fair, everyone always looks taller than me, so nah. yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, you just I definitely have a... feel like it because my clothes don't quite fit the way they did like three oh, hours yeah, ago. Yeah, look at your sleeves. Yeah. Hmm. Huh, I'm gonna have to get everything tailored again. Oh well, at least you're in the best place to get a new wardrobe. Yeah. God, you were gonna turn up at fucking uh, Trist's uh, Trist's mom's like magic door and just he'll open what the fuck happened to you guys and you're all just way taller you've all got funny eyes nothing oh. <laughs> none of them can tell trist about it's it way taller We're not that taller. much taller just an inch and it's just pretty significant just if an entire party like drastically changes no but then tristan looks over to at pharmacies perfectly normal as always Oh yeah, hey Trist, uh, I gotta do a little have you do a little a little bit of a constitution. Oh no. And so does Cassie. Oh no. Uh oh. Hey, how's that uh, withdrawal going, buddy? I don't oh, no, think this that's withdrawal. What this is for. <laughs> oh. Pay this, pay <laughs> this, pay this. Okay, we're safe. It's fine. You're all right. Uh, she's good for Close one, ask. Man. Close one. Trist is on the ball. What What are you doing? Yeah. What are you rolling Constitution for? I think it's because <laughs> Tess is changing his numbers. I'm adjusting characters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't think the mimics were going to put you pregnant in there. I mean, they might have. Who knows? Yeah. Oh yeah, you also do have new barrel mimic. It is disguised currently as a barrel, so you're fine. No one thinks that's weird. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the party can collect their earnings, relax, and then in the morning, I guess, like, get some freshly tailored clothes, because you've all outgrown them a little bit. Yeah. Uh, some temporary travel supplies and catch a boat down to the hairhold. Let's do experience and call the Lass session and shape. Lass and shape shifter. That's true, Bob. You can just S slide back down again if you want. If, yeah. Didn't we? Didn't we talk about that? You just end up making um, uh, horse girls, a la what's his name from? I Saturday? mean, out of character, yeah. Guard, we, yeah. We know, but in character. Okay, I was just confused. Uh, your mum will respond. It depends who's on top. <laughs> She's grinning. Uh, well, I mean, there are Equin girls, but mo they're like a slim chance of happening. For the most part, you'll see just centaurs. Hmm. Otherwise, there'd be horse girls running all the like just all over the place. Have you seen Dorona Fields? Yeah. Uh, that's why I was asking. Yeah, it's just it's just centaurs usually, but on the rare occasion you'll get a uh, a, a wildling, as it were. That's good to know. Yeah, she tries to describe like the constitute version of the shifter race. It's sort of what you get. Meanwhile, Tristan is making a mental note to make a uh, future. Uh, village home, uh, extra centaur accessible. Yep. <laughs> All right. XP time. Yep. Yeah, experience, experience. Yeah, oh, did you add in my experience from last week, or did I just I... not get any? I don't remember. If you. Don't show up. Let's have a look. Uh, I'll give you one just so that you aren't like falling tragically behind, but yeah, you aren't there to do the things. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
Did you explore a new or interesting location for the first time? Yeah, mm. I'd probably say so. Which one? And I'm then you try and tell me and you can't. Damn. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, tight on the cannon, it's fine. Alright, did you discover a new and interesting truth about the land? I, I learned think something Tiana new about the whole yeah, universe. I, I Tiana, Tiana did. did, yes. But all of you definitely, you can qualify that this that place had fucking attachments to the other elemental planes there, and that they are accessible from Ceres, and there is also a pool that goes into King's Seat. Yeah, that's the most dangerous thing, and I want to tell the freaking Nightholds, but I can't anymore. You can't. Did you make a new ally or a lasting enemy? Yes. Cool. Did I? The your, uh, your barrel barrel. Mimic. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but also, yeah, Tiana, you you know in fact who statue person is, uh, and you can yes. agree. I assure, you, I, I assume that they are your ally. Of course. You know who the statue is. Yeah, I said that. Yes. How dare you! I can't tell you. Or I can, but I'm not going to. Yeah, you can't tell us in character, but you can tell us out of but you're not going to. Yeah. Alright, advance or complete a quest. Yet. Yeah, you, com yeah. You, com you completed um, Mimic Dungeon. And that was a quest for Taji the whole time. Defeat a threat far beyond expectations. Technically, that no. place was full of traps nope. that yeah. could have insta-killed you. Yeah, like the Spear of oh. Annihilation. There was an Orb of Annihilation. Oh, yeah. There was something that the any of those brain hemorrhage tests, uh, if you crit failed any of them, you would just die. Question. Oh. Yep. Now that we're out of that dungeon and we're not probably and we're never not going back, uh, did would the key that fit in the chest also have worked on the desk? Nope. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Good thing I didn't mention the key then. Oh. Yeah. I, I thought about that uh, key as well, but no. No need to push our luck uh, with One the second, I, I need to tell Pets what was in that shelf. <laughs> Alright, now you know what that is. Um, so yeah, that was actually a threat far beyond expectations. That last portion of the dungeon was full of death traps for real ones. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, so it's five so far. Learn something new about a player character. I mean, none of us did, but... Uh, I think um, we learned I'm a lightweight. I think I, I did. Yeah, well, uh, I think Taji, Taji can score yeah, that Taji. in for you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also, you've literally seen her, like, vassalize and accept this glorious pendant. She has some kind of authority, you know that much. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let everyone know I was the vassal. I think I can say that, right? Yeah. Uh, and have your commitments yeah. to your oaths been hard tested and upheld? No, but you will get a bonus experience. Yay. Hooray. Doing this seven. That puts a seven me EXP at... session. Uh, 301, level baby! Nine. Level up! Mimic a dungeon points or save changes. I mean, remember that time when I thought I leveled up for everyone and then I got cucked out of it? Now yep. you've done it for real. Congratulations. Woo! Woo! High five, Keena, level 19. Yeah, high five. You're 71. I'm 30 to go. Ooh, huh. this is really cool for me. This is a really good level. I get the Paladora. <laughs> So how does everybody... You finally get the Paladin feature. Hooray! How does everybody feel critical. about a plus four to your saves? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't it's know. Pretty, pretty I good usually order. never in fucking range of it. Oh, well, that's on you. Just stand next to me. Yeah, just stand on the front lines, five bud. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, as I, said I before, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for running, Scow. It was fun as yes. always. Yeah, Hell very yes. good. Question. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, sure. Go ahead. As downtime actions, we can actually try uh, do the whole XP thing to catch up to the highest. No, no, you you can you can use experience training to catch up to like you can get back the amount that your stand-ins do. So Trist can train to catch up the amount that Kiri earned. 
just in case any of your other characters need a standee for whatever reason, you don't want them to then just make the standee the new permanent as everyone else left in the dust. So okay. Kiri, if Kiri earns like nah. 20 experience over the course of this, Trist is allowed to train 20 experience for this. But otherwise, I guess there's just no XP training okay. in this campaign. You should probably no. take that out of the, uh, or modify that on the handout. Uh, I suppose. I'm glad I was able to at least uh, experience half of Winter's Dungeon. Yeah. yeah. If you're watching on the stream of YouTube, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in about three hours for Merzenhammer and a bunch of Tau blueberry smooching. Till then, do take care. Ooh.